Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and we have some exciting news coming up. On February 16th, here in Bullhead City, Arizona, at the Miracle Mile Event Center, there is going to be a Mojave comedy show in which I will be performing along with Austin and Ryan and Jesse and some other some other favorites that might or might not have appeared on the show. If you want to come on out, it's uh, Mojave comedy.com you can check out the details there you can also go to facebook.com and check out mojave comedy through there unrelated february 16th 2024 at an undisclosed location there will be a fried rice podcast live recording in front of a live studio audience if you want to be a part of that please go to mojave comedy.com or check out facebook mojave comedy and look for details there for um maybe something related or unrelated also, uh, please, we have a brand new phone number, a voicemail, the Fried Rice, Fried Rice Podcast voicemail. It is 1-702-829-0117. Again, that is 702-829-0117. This is a voicemail that is open for any of you knuckleheads to call and leave us your thoughts. We will play them on air. Thank you, and uh, sorry again about whatever caused there to be a uh, space for an advertisement. Welcome to another just chill, just fucking chilled out episode of Fried Rice Podcast. I'm your host, Andy Rice. Let's get fried. With me as always, we have Austin. He drove one hour to be here today. <laughs> not three, yes, not three Feral. What the fuck is up? We have Michael. Assault on uh, Priestley 13 was was his movie suggestion. Keep that in mind for the rest of this interview, for the rest of this podcast. Um, he's lucky to be alive. We try to kill him every week. Uh, this week was poisoned pizza, except he ate the wrong slices. Um, that was good pizza. Lucky to be alive, Slapstick Larson. Hey, everybody. And I already said it, I'm Andy Rice. Let's get fried. God, I wish Assault on Precinct 13 had a more a upbeat, music. <laughs> a more upbeat <laughs> intro because intro. holy fucking shit! <laughs> well, that was, other synthwave one uh, was really good. Yeah. It was, but but this but is the this actual, is the actual music this is from the movie. Fr- the opening. We were talking credits. about it. it sounds like a '70s sitcom. Uh, my wife and I were talking about it when we were watching. This sounds like a '70s sitcom <laughs> dum, music. Dum, dum, the dum. other yeah. the other version of the theme where it's like more intense. Like it made me want a breakdown that it never gave me. But I agree. I don't blame him because John Carpenter actually composed the music for this movie. Oh, did he? Did he, he really? Did, he did it Jesus. in three days. Of course. John he's, Carpenter, he does everything. He for sat everybody. at a Casio, hit the <laughs> hit the one button that gave him 90% of what we just listened yeah. to, and then he just kind of added a... He's just dicking around. And the movie was shot in 21 days. Ooh, oh, I okay. couldn't thing. tell at all. Well... <laughs> sorry <laughs> we're gonna get into this because I already think I know that Austin enjoyed it the movie yes, uh, spoilers yeah, uh, and I and very I much did, enjoyed it right. too and you recommended it and I recommended it, it and I hate it can't yeah, kick yeah. the table you just no. be, be yes. mindful um, this will make sense later but my wife is in this movie what? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, okay. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, we'll, we'll, well get before to the movie we later. before we get to the movie later. Uh, the, the, by the way, the name of that song we were listening to is called Julie, and I don't remember there being a single character named Julie. Oh in the yeah, movie. she was the worst character in the movie. That's why she's so forgetful. Is she the one that uh, spoilers dies uh, of the chicks? Yes. She's the t- one of yes. the two. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, she, I thought you were going to say it's a little girl's name. I was like, I I was like, like tell yes. me it's a little girl's name. And she's the worst <laughs> yeah. character in the movie because a little girl yeah. acted her heart out. She yeah. wasn't too bad. Yeah. Interesting fact incoming about the little girl, uh, which I will break down later, so stay tuned. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a teaser. <laughs> yeah, you want yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Energy stack income. I guess that's your good. brain, yeah, yeah. the way it put those words, <laughs> those words in order. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, from our perspective, it did gonna, not sound like it was going to yeah. oh, yeah. stop right there. Now. Here's a fact about the yeah. little girl that I will absolutely tell you. Later. Later. Yeah. <laughs> Later. Gotta so get that watch time. So let's, get, uh, let's move past the movie and then we'll get back to yeah. it. Um, so this, this is a very special week because, as you know, here in the podcast, we are always begging for sponsors. And lo and behold... Our freshest face on the team went out and procured us a sponsor. So, Austin, since this was your get, why don't you give us the rundown of who is sponsoring us? Oakley Tokley. Uh, so, my buddy Jason out in Havasu has his own business where he sells this smoking uh, device. And uh, I was like, perfect stoner podcast, let me get these. They're called bell ringers. And it goes into your bong, or you could just smoke it straight out however you want it has three inserts for three different joints or other bell ringers so you can have in, it's like infinity stoner legos you can smoke three <laughs> yeah, joints you stack them once. up right you, you could do a five, combo you could do a dab two. and two joints or three dabs or, but if you add another one then you could yeah. do five joints and then if you add another one you could do seven joints. yeah you can so keep adding i wish this two. is one of those things that i wish we uh we we had this, that we were yeah. on video we will be soon i'm so sorry i know we've talked about this for fucking ever we don't have any video i'm so sorry but uh we're working on it just to, like the way I'm, I'm gonna describe this physically just so that you can have an idea of what it looks like it's picture like a standard bowl piece for a bong but instead of it being like a hollowed out bowl it's three separate smaller bowls in sort of a honeycomb uh triangle formation right but what he's saying is with the connect with the connectivity, you can add another bell ringer, a smaller bell ringer, into yeah. each of the it's it's a it's a Russian nesting doll <laughs> of 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 a dab rig situation. Yeah. So not dab rig because you wouldn't want to hit this dabs. with a torch, no, but like a, the way I've used it in the past, because I've actually used a bell ringer in the past. Um because yeah. I've met I've met Jason and he uh uh he's dope. And yeah. so uh, well, the way he did it was we put three fucking joints into each yeah. of the holes. Well, one, one joint in each, each hole. One in yeah. each hole. And then we fucking lit all three. <laughs> and we were just ripping, like, it, ripping triple joints. You saw Pineapple Express. Yeah. You know, the, like, the cross joint that yeah, he made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can make that a way more conceivable reality <laughs> without having to fucking duct tape some joint together. You can get this thing every single time. Without a degree in origami. I would say, practicality-wise, this is not an everyday use unless you're the biggest stoner on earth. But, holy Look, shit, I you pull one of these leftovers. out. That's yeah. what Mike was saying. This is great for leftover joints, like butts. Like, if you have any of that last yeah. little bit, you just pack all three in, get yourself a mega hit. But also, I can imagine pulling this thing out of party. Oh, and yeah. having everybody put Full their joint own theory. joints yeah, yeah, into yeah, their yeah. fucking thing. We all just get ripped off of yeah. it. <laughs> And it has all different kinds of sizes, so, you, you know, you could stack bell ringers on top of each other. There's a bunch of different ones that he's making that have different properties. Like, the one I'll bring up on What Are We Smoking, uh, that one is, like, made out of, like, a chalkboardy material. So you can, like, take the other bell ringers and, like, write stuff on it. You can, like, na put your name on it or do whatever you want with it. This one's just, like, a max jumbo size one for, like, blunts and, like, other, other parts you want to put in it. This one here fucking glows in the dark. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, cool. I wish Can't lose most it. bowl pieces glow to the dark in general because when you're at night, you know, yeah. and you, you drop it, like, out in the, out in the wild, <laughs> right? I like it. So, that's bell ringers, cool. uh, how do we how do we get a hold of them? How do, how do people uh, on at listening... So, he is he was, uh, bell ringers on Facebook he, and Instagram. Has he got a site to where you can buy his stuff? Uh, I think he's still working on the site. Okay. I think it's Instagram. Is it, and how do you spell bell ringers? Is it just B-E-L-L-R-I-N-G-E-R, -E -E and then is it a Z? Bell underscore ringers with a Z. There you go. Oh, and he actually does. It's mybellringer.com. Mybellringer.com. So that is Bell Ringers, Bell underscore Ringers with a Z on Instagram. Uh, it is also mybellringer.com. Our first sponsor, thank you so much to Jason. Let's give it up for Jason. Yeah. We'd like to yeah, clap yeah, for the show. Jason. Thank you so much, our first sponsor. Another shout out to Destiny, our first Patreon. Let's give it up to her. Yeah. These are the people that have supported us. Shout out to my parents because ultimately they've super supported uh, me. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Shout out to you guys for just coming in and just being part of the core crew. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to me. Shout out to you guys. Uh, wait, oh, shout out to uh, the pizza place. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm working yeah. on uh, maybe possibly a second sponsor, which might be Rosati's Pizza. Hell I'm gonna yeah. I'm going to try to work out a deal where we get a free pizza for each episode and we just say the pizza was good. Uh, yeah. Oh, so no, wait. Let's just say it. We, we just don't have to. It. We it, literally, was it was fucking good. It was so good. the one that the one that we oh, just yeah. had. It. Yes. <laughs> the one that we just had. Yeah. Which is called the you said the Godfather. It, it well, no, not be, anymore. It yeah. used to be called the Godfather, but then there was some legal issues, obviously. For what? Uh, the movie. Maybe another pizza place. Maybe the maybe movie. Godfather's. Pizza. Oh, Godfather's Pizza. So they yeah. changed yeah. it to yeah, a, Rosati's is a Chicago style restaurant. Sure. So they changed changed it to the Windy City Pizza. We're it's supposed to be getting a Rosati's here. Too, yeah, that's supposedly. the guy that it's I got this one guy? from. Yeah, him. He's opening one out here. Yeah, it's going to go right next to where across the street from our store. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I used to work Rosati's there, so pizza, that'll be yeah. cool because then I won't have to bring a. A pizza an hour away in a hot yeah, bag right that there. I borrowed yeah. from the place. Yeah, yeah. You get it right there. Yeah. We're right across the street from where we are. Um, so, oh, yeah. Sorry, so, uh, John. So <laughs> Sorry, John, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, just a heads up to the listeners at home. I'm going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting, smoking-wise, this episode. Yes. Um, I have somewhere to be right after the show, so I can't... Uh, Mike's going a little bit lighter than yeah. typical, and Austin, he already got his fill today, I feel Yeah, like. uh, to pick up the bell ringers, I went to the guy's house, <laughs> went into his office, and I was like, cool, I mean, I, he didn't know I didn't really smoke, he just knew I was on a Stoner podcast, so he yeah. assumed that I smoked, and he's like, oh, dude, that's cool, I'll, I'll totally give you the bell ringers, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own little ad, and, we'll, yeah. and, and he, I thought he was gonna smoke it, and then he hands it to me, and he already has the Facebook Live going, I'm like, well, I haven't smoked in like... A month, but uh, I guess I can't look like a bitch on this Facebook live. So he put a dab and two joints in it. Yeah, of, like really good shit. It just I took right. one hit yeah. and then I just sat down and I'm like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Can't wait for the podcast. <laughs> Check out the Bell Ringers yeah. podcast podcast. Yeah. So, so Austin's moving a little slower today. Yeah. yeah. So I'm. I'm. Yeah. So this is uh, going to be a lot of Andy just getting fucking ripped. So if you're familiar with the famous, it always I'm gonna is. Say, yeah. I'm going to say the inf- the now infamous episode. <laughs> Where Brennan and I, uh, it was just us. Is that and we the one were, we did the commercials for, right? We did yeah, the yeah. commercials. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they're, they're, they're Those commercials, man. Like, were you there when we recorded the commercials yeah, last week? I'm in yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're in one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, bro, I can't. It, the process, if you're listening at home, now that it's all done, <laughs> it's done and behind us, so, yeah. that episode just aired right. a couple days ago. Yeah. But we recorded it a month ago. And then we just finished up the commercials like, oh, commercial like right last now. week yeah. and threw them in. I just listened to that episode on the way here, so it's fresh in my mind. Oh, that's the oh, one they just had. It's the such yeah, a the... fucking unhinged. It was it's, so funny. The... It's not a several Jesse... weeks ago now. If you're listening now, it was yeah. It's not ago. a Jesse edited episode. Yeah. So there's it's it's me edited episode, which right. I surpri- I got the commercials in. That's all I needed to do. You didn't edit much, right? <laughs> you didn't edit God, I don't even think I put the fucking ending song in. No. <laughs> Did I put the ending song? No, I just cut right off. Yeah. <laughs> so that Holy was just... shit, how many have I not put the ending song in? I don't in? know. Oh, God. I'm, listeners at home, I'm so fucking sorry. Dude, Jesse has been saving my ass. Um, he might actually not be coming to the episodes anymore. He might right. just be our behind-the-scenes man. Uh, because he said uh, earlier, he's like, well, here's the thing. I get hot boxed, I get really fucking stoned yeah, off my ass, which out. I'm not trying to get, and then I can't, you know, the rest right. of the day is fucked. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You can't really come to the Fried Rice podcast yeah. and not get at least proximity you high. You get a little high no matter what. even and Which is, right, I right. think, a perfect opportunity for Jesse to roll the music for What Are We Fucking Smoking? Okay. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, holy what? shit. Okay, What's so... That? So, Santa Claus... Uh, Austin here, Feral yeah. Santa Claus, uh, brought Andy a little gift. Just uh, my, it's a Christmas present, and it's also uh, this is uh, by far. I've been on quite a few podcasts. I've been on Philosopher and the Comedian. I've been on Now You Listen. I've been on Ryan's. Uh, this one is by that's far, pros and cons. By the pros way. and cons, right? I've been. This is the most fun podcast I've ever been on. Hi, Ryan. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, and this is just my way of saying thank you. Even though I don't smoke, that's a whole long story of why I can't really smoke that much. But uh, thanks for letting me come on to your stoner podcast, not smoke, and talk shit on it. Merry Christmas. Andy. Wow. Absolutely. Hey, thank you. I need a clap right here. Just clap yeah, in the background. Sure. It always makes hey, the moment better. Andy's Christmas present. So, thank you. It's in a, it's in a uh, 
grocery bag. Speaking of, I just rip it it's in or, about eight grocery bags. Okay. That was the whole. That's, yeah, the, that's the part that's going to entertain me. That's, that's my graphic, Christmas present. Watching you yeah. try to get to it. And these are tight See, knots too. Yes. They're not. Un, they're not untieable <laughs> knots. They're. Speaking of presents, we don't. We want to remember to mention Andy Palooza. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a. That's. Yeah. I was actually going to. Uh, oh God, That'll play tight. airtime while you're opening. <laughs> yeah, <you're talking. laughs> so, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, to the sound of me unwrapping this gift, uh, it's a good time to remind you all. February. Si- well, there, okay. There's. Well, let me because I am going to get distracted. Right. Two things to keep in mind. Two completely unrelated <laughs> things, and that is important to keep in mind. Right. <laughs> First, February sixteenth at eight, eight eight p.m. at the Miracle Mile Event Center here in Bullhead. I will be performing in a very fun stand-up comedy show with Mojave Comedy. It's going to be a blast. Either, so Austin's going to be there. Maybe, maybe uh, there Anthony eight? Mitchell will be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ryan Conn will be there. Yeah. Um, Jesse will be there. Uh, so voices and, and people that you've heard before on the podcast, they will be there. Uh, but it's totally unrelated. After Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't give away the game, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> but... Hey, oh, what was that? You want to hear the second announcement that I had yeah. to make that was completely yes. unrelated to the first completely one? Completely unrelated. Yeah, totally. Yes. Tell us. Yeah, so at a, uh, on, on February 16th, at an undisclosed location, because uh, uh-huh. that's important, we don't know where this we is going to take, take place yet. Wink, wink. Right. Uh, <laughs> Fried Rice Podcast is going to be doing a live, on stage uh, uh, perform uh, uh, episode with um, a, a, a not- Live at Comic Con. This is going to be. Uh, this there's going to be real adults. Podcast yeah, we're going to be. Yeah. We're going to be smoking. We're going to be hanging out. We're going to be having fun. It is going to be a fucking blast. Uh, so, if you can make it out February 16th to the Bullhead City area, which is right across from uh, Laughlin, Nevada. So, if you're familiar with the area, get a hotel room in Laughlin or here in town, and hey, and come stay with Andy. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't even, I don't even, whoever you are, are listening to this, how close we are, even my family. No, 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 just no. Right. get a hotel room somewhere. Uh, we'll, we'll find time to hang out. Uh, but no, there's not, there's no room at the end. Uh, anyway, great. Add over, time to continue opening my presents. God, you really wrapped the fuck out of this. This is the fun part for me. Yeah. yeah. This is my Christmas present. you open it, right? This is, you open several grocery bags inside of several grocery this bags. This would piss off so many Californians because each of this is just 10 cents I'm throwing away. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Californians, uh... I went, I went just... Although visited, their bags are better. You, did you ever go over there? And they give you a oh, really nice bag. Yeah, trust me, dude. I, I buy some of those and I come back here because yeah, those are my so like traveling bags now. Yeah. Because they're just <laughs> that the fucking good. The bags they give you at the store, yeah, for 10 cents. Okay. Oh, I'm letting my eyes adjust to... Yeah. This is something Star Trek... Wait, what is this? Star Trek, the next generation inner space series, personal communic... Oh, hell it's yeah. It's a communic- collectible, dude. Dude, I'm not... I want to open oh, it so, so bad. Cool. Yeah, I've, yeah, totally. you can't. It's numbered, dude. It's too. Oh my, it's numbered. Oh, it's a collector's. Fuck, dude, this is sick. Holy that shit! Okay, cool. so for the people listening at home, this is. I mean, I, I'm a Trekkie. I'm a. To be clear, I'm a. I'm a newer Trekkie, but I'm working yeah, my so- way through the Trek first. So I've 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 got Voyage or I've got Voyager under my belt. I've got TNG under my belt. I'm now about halfway through, maybe not halfway, but almost halfway through Deep Space Nine. Did you watch now, all being, the toss too, the original series. I don't know if I'm going to. Okay. Because Just I curious. that I know, is I know. so I get dated. You. I got and you. So, I know. And that's Shat- gonna piss <laughs> off. Gonna, yeah. I, I love the Shatnerverse. Yeah. That was oh, great. God. I might. I've seen Trouble with Tribbles. I've you seen, have to like, watch it with the right attitude. It has to be watched as like you were alive then. You have yeah. to think how. It's the '60s. It's not. You I know. haven't watched it with weed as a, it's in my life. Like watching so Batman. It's that's, a lot that's like watching helps. Batman. It helps with weed. I lived with my grandparents. All I could do was smoke weed and watch TV. Where back when you could just turn on a TV and it had the antennas that got, and that's all we got. We had like yeah. maybe eight channels that were oh. good. And yeah. Star Trek was always. It's like on. watching Batman '66. You're like 16 again. You're like 14. I'm over no, school. you're like 16 yes, again. Uh, exactly. We're me. like negative 40 years. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I uh, so. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, I'm, uh, so this is a this is fucking sick. So it's a, it's it looks like a Mighty Max, uh, one of those little Mighty Max collectibles, like the tiny oh the clam shell yeah, open yeah. and it has like a, a yeah. playset in it. Yeah. So it's got Data and Riker as little figurines that are fully they're articulated. You can move their arms up and down. That's sick. And they have a uh, it's the transporter room, mm-hmm. real working transporter 
What? Beams. Okay. <laughs> so it means you put a battery in So if you get two on. of them, you can transport joints to each other. Oh, my God. That's about how big it is. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> I like that real working transport. That's a legit beam. really that's great yeah. present. Yeah, it like, is. Thank you. Like, that you was have like all a, the nerd yeah. collectible stuff, and you always mention like, your Star Trek yeah. fans. Yeah. I was like, this is perfect for God. Oh, my. What? What? This is the second one. Yeah, holy shit. This might be one of the most thoughtful and best gifts I've ever it's received cool. from, from, a, from a human being in my life. I'm, yeah. Wow, thank you so much. Thanks for letting me on. Holy God. So, so uh, this is even cooler. It's the medical tricorder mini playset from Star Trek Next Generation Interspace Series. So this comes with a medical tricorder uh, seen on Next Generation. Uh, it opens up to reveal... Oh! It is a tricorder, and then you open it up into another mini playset, and it becomes Medical Bay and Biolab, and it has, uh, oh, fuck yeah, dude. It's got Dr. Crusher, Commander LaForge, and then Lacutus Le- Le- uh, uh, Picard. Yeah. So when he's full Borg. Yeah, full So Borg, look at yeah. that. You, it's got, oh, you, could it put, really? you could put the Borg him. Oh, he's in there. Look. God, I normally, I typically am not. A, we need a magnifying glass, though. I know. I'm going to, for the first <laughs> time, let light in just for the yes. sake so I can see this shit. Because he's tiny, but he's cool. Yeah, this your neighbor can see this. Cool. You bragged that you're. <laughs> it's made oh. Exists anymore? Yeah, no, these are fucking sick. I don't know if I'm going to open. <sighs> no, I don't know how you open. I don't know. Oh, God, no, because, like. But it's probably got. From is what I looked a... up, that the medical bay one is the more expensive one. This is cool. So. Well, thank you so much, Austin. These are amazing. It would be funny if, if that thing actually does record this. your voice. Oh, wait. <laughs> Use it for ads. <laughs> if what records? Does that tricorder, right? No. No, I well, just... Um, I don't know Star Trek. The, so the well. quarter in tricorder is... To, re- well, it records, it is to record but it information. records medical information. Oh, okay. it's, it's the most it's the most Star Trekky. I think one of the yeah. most Star Trekky devices in Star Trek is the tricorder or the uh, because it's just a okay. <laughs> they'll they'll walk into a they'll yeah. walk into a cavern and they'll like they'll have their tricorders they'll out. They'll take it out and they'll oh, just yeah. do one of these. It's like their sonic screwdriver and they're just like all right, it's not picking up any life forms. We're good, but then they can All also right, at the same the time uh, basis of the air. Or, yeah. at, the same or at the same time, oh man, I've got a cut on my arm. Great. And it just repairs. Uh, don't worry, this is going to repair your arm. Yeah. I'm like, great. Exactly. And then at the same time, it's. <laughs> it's uh, it, it does everything. It does. I think. It does everything. It does everything. It's literally. It's got these, a little screen on it. It's got a view screen on it where the, because they can talk to the ship. Or it doesn't it sometimes. This is the thing that could heal everybody. I'm yeah. showing him the most. Because. It's the most basic just piece of, <laughs> piece of plastic. It's a piece of plastic <laughs> with some miscellaneous button screens yes. on it, but it's not readouts. It's like the oh. best readout you could get from this is one to six dots yeah. uh, of, of information. Yeah, dot, dot, so dot, if dot. somehow you can <laughs> press the right buttons to go from I need this hut this this cut healed. It's like, oh bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm getting one and a half dots. It means you're you're. It means you're you're not gonna make it. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but then my 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 one dot can he, uh, just. It's so I love Star Trek. And this is also my gift to the listeners because I just gifted you an Andy Rice tangent. <laughs> you did, and also you're supposed to and stop. Also, those maybe a bit for stage. Those are kind of fun because I like it when Andy goes on a tangent. Oh. His tangent becomes like a mammoth, and all the guests on the podcast are cavemen trying to spear that mammoth. Stop down. that mammoth! <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god, those are sick. But oh, also, that... also a, a good bit. Not, not I, those are. It's abs- really true about Star Trek because it's really true. Those are great, dude. That's those are fantastic. Wow. Okay. Well, back spe- on the rails. Now that we're now that we're. What doing... are we smoking? Yeah. <laughs> oh like, shit! Wow, was that the what are we smoking still, section? What are we smoking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was amazing. Uh, oh, speaking of which, uh, if you're going to come to the uh, to the fried rice, so fried rice, the February sixteenth fried rice podcast live is Andy doubling Palooza. as the Andy Palooza, Andy birthday extravaganza, the um, our Lord and Savior Andy. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm done with the blasphemy stuff. I'm so sorry, everybody. But the price of admission is one wrapped gift for me. <laughs> and I'm going to for my birthday because it's my it's my birthday. So uh, I'm going to open the gifts on stage live in front of the studio audience. 
keep in mind this is a weed show. Keep in mind that I'm a nerd. And, Adult uh, is okay. And a joke gift is probably fine if... Uh, if you, you know, want. You know, you might want to be careful. There may be a whole stack of dildos. You're going to get a lot of fleshlights, <laughs> yes. dude. A lot of fleshlights. Oh, I did talk about flesh. Well, we they are can... looking for a sponsor. Yeah, fuck it, man. <laughs> what? I mean, oh, so yeah. I get, I get, not, no, no one's going to spend fleshlight money on a, on a show, you know, <laughs> just to get on the are there, podcast. Are there knockoff flesh, fleshlights? Oh, uh, yeah. I've seen oh, weird, yeah, like, there there's one go, that's yeah. like Avatar. <laughs> oh gee, no, that's Jeez. probably more expensive. Yeah, no, we're talking if about if it's cheap. a blue, yeah, we're talking about it's blue and shit. Only spend seven dollars on their Andy gift. You could ask Jesse; he has really good bits about a flashlight. <laughs> <only one. laughs> I don't see. I don't know if I want to get into uh, uh, kind of, yeah about flashlight because <laughs> I've got a story, but I, oh, this God. isn't the this isn't I've the place. It. What are we smoking? What are we smoking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what, what did you bring? Because before I light All this right. guy up. So, my mom rolled these for us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, and Wait the, a minute. The comparison right the, now, it's the, Saturday. The one who doesn't smoke, my mom rolled these yeah. for us. My yeah. mom's a huge stoner. Yeah, okay. And we'll have her on one day if she wants. I think, yeah, she, she actually she mentioned probably, it. Because yeah, yeah. There, you were talking to Dario and Ryan about weed, and you yeah. some, some, some specific subject you didn't know about. And my mom was just shitting on you. This guy doesn't know fucking shit about weed. <laughs> you gotta have me on there. <laughs> Yeah. To be, like, mom, to, you're a come on, girl. mom. To be fair, Austin's mom, I don't know shit about weed. I <laughs> smoke it all the time. Yeah. I would, you know, but that's like, I would think most alcoholics... Don't like, know how to brew beer, right? Yeah, they don't know <laughs> how to brew beer. They get the idea of how a beer is brewed. Yeah. They've maybe watched a how it's made, but like, I don't know what the fuck terpenes are yeah. and what they do to weed or what the percentage of... The, now there's two percentages on things. Have you noticed that? Yeah. There's two percentages. Sometimes I'm three. Up, sometimes three, yeah. I've got right here, I'm pulling something up. Total percentage, TS, THC, CBD, and cannabinoids. Yeah. Who gives a yeah, fuck? Who cares? Just give me high. Does it, it give me high? So, and I like the fact that she rolled this for it's it's this is oh. a bunch of fr- <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god. Mackerel. Oh my <laughs> shit. What? He, he just he, he just pulled, pulled out, out a bell ringer. The bell yeah. ringer loaded. Yeah, so oh. she rolled three joints and I I got a bell extra bell ringer and I put them in the bell ringer. Oh. Wait, I have a question. Did the tube come with the bell ringer or did no, you make no. that? Did you no, come she up with the joints? She put the joints, yeah, joints okay. in the tube yeah, for me. Okay. And I just love the fact that my mom rolled these for us. It's like, this is like a... When you were kids... <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, you go to your friend's house on a Saturday and your mom makes sandwiches for everyone. Uh, yeah. And it's like your, all your bicycles are in Pizza the front rolls. yard. Pizza rolls. <laughs> all your bicycles are in the yeah. front yard. Now we're adults. All our cars are in the front yards. Instead of playing video games, we're doing a podcast. And my mom rolled joints for everyone. Yeah. The evolution <laughs> is complete. Yeah. This- but yeah, Welcome these the, 20, uh, the end of great. 2023. These joints are uh, they're bluebies from jars. They are 32 percent THC, oh my God. and I'm not gonna say the other percentages. And yeah. she also infused it with space dust. Oh, 33 percent infused with space dust. Okay. And I am not smoking it, but it looks like it fits in your bong, Andy, with a oh, bell ringer attachment. Brought to and, you by Bell Ringers. And Mike's not fucking I'll, smoking I'll much either. I'll hit it once, which is three times actually, I guess. Yeah, okay, true. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be, oh, it does fit perfectly in the bong. It fits, it fits, perfect. it it fits, fits so perfectly. fucking perfectly in this bong. Uh, Wait a minute. Oh my God. Okay, so, yeah, take it. yeah, I absolutely, we need to take a picture of this. Sponsored by Bell Ringers and Austin yeah. Smog. <laughs> it's mom. Yeah. Go, Tag yeah. your mom as in, in the joints. I'm gonna record you hitting it. And yeah, then... oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna put sake. it in okay. the podcast. A little exclusive. Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Okay. Um, Extra fried rice. How's my hair? Extra fried rice. You're fine. Okay. No, probably not. But <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to finish these three <laughs> space dust infused mega Blue joints. Blue joints. Blue <laughs> joints. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. God damn. You just. If I go. Joints. If I get comatose in a few minutes. The movie's yeah. Assault on Precinct 13. You take it away, I'll, 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 jump in with, yeah. I'll jump in with like, oh, it's an interesting take on race relations. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jesus, brought to you by Bell Ringers. Oh my god, look at the cloud smoke. Oh. <laughs> Fried Rice Podcast brought to you by Bell Ringers. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, be careful. <laughs> <coughs> okay. That you've uh, used it, is it a good product? It's a hell of a product. God. Jeez. You want another one, Mike? No, God, no. Not yet. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to go one more. Oh. My dad always said if you're going to do something, do it right. Do it right. <laughs> oh, my God. I... It's so much. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is there supposed to be oxygen left? <laughs> oh. oh, look at that. Andy, that's gonna hurt you. <laughs> I hope you don't have any plans today, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> You're staying here, right? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's uh what are we that smoking is, is uh sauce I am, today? Wow. <laughs> That is, uh... And how do you control the can, burn? Oh my God, I don't know. Because you can't get all the can way through that. Can you put those out? Uh, yeah, I'll put those out. How do you do yeah, that? You That's just gotta asking. delicately put them out on the side of the thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like right here? Yeah. You need an oxygen deprivation. Oh, my God. It needs I mean, a I cap need... or something like we can cap it. <laughs> I need, like... Hey, there's a... Uh, what's, how do they do... When you're... You remember when you went to church and that little thing that goes over the flame and puts it out? What is that called? Don't bring up church snuffer? right now. I'm too, <laughs> I'm no, too, no, I'm need, too stoned to think we about need, church. We need, we need a snuffer for that. Like where you can just... Oh. Snuffer, yeah. <laughs> like, I got you. That's a that's a cute little idea. Like a, yeah. Like we hire a kid to come in and put the little cap on <laughs> the, the joint. cap on the joint, yeah. Thank you. I don't know what to use to mash no, these no, down. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. We'll just let that... It's like our... It's like the... Um, in, uh, ambience. The, ambience. One of those like, little sticks you buy, the uh, incense. Incense. Yeah, yeah. it's just like our little incense, weed right. incense weed for incense. the room. Those things are a little smoking gun right there. Yeah, too. they are. Oh, my God. Guys, that... Listen, how much is a bell ringer? Yeah, um, so. I'm not sure about the price. He gave me all these for free, but that's because we're sponsoring. Yeah, he's sponsoring. I can't... Listen, guys... All I'm saying is, if you have three friends and each, and each of them <laughs> come in with a joint, joint, or you're friends with Austin's mom, well, you three joints. Holy God, that is the way to get incredibly fucking high, very, amount, very, listen, very quickly. You probably couldn't see it because you were on top of it. The amount of smoke pulling into the bowl was amazing on that. They're rather I mean, inexpensive the too. I'm sure they're rather inexpensive. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, I'm not going to say cheap. You would think it would be a novelty, but we it actually said the works. Side earlier, but I can't get my wife. No, right guys, order, I got to so say this great. is uh, this is. It's one of the coolest things. It's very very fun. It's mm -hmm. I, yeah. fun is the way I would describe this, and that's what it is. It's a very fun weed product. Yeah. It's not often you buy something just for fun. Usually, it's for usability. It's for right. usability. Is, You're yeah, buying yeah, a new yeah. bowl piece because you have to have a new bowl yeah. piece. You're buying a new uh, vape because you know whatever right. battery or whatever. Right. This you're buying because you got probably twenty bucks. I don't know how yeah. much. But I'm sure one of the yeah. smaller ones, maybe or even less. Who knows? Like holy shit! Just to do what I just did right now. We said the website <laughs> earlier, but yeah. If you're a stoner, yeah. I'm telling you, there's nothing like hitting three, three joints at once. Diamond <laughs> dust infused <laughs> blue bees from jars, <laughs> hand rolled by uh, Austin's <laughs> mom <laughs> from a free bell ringer in Andy's bunk. <laughs> he had to be there in a jar we on fucking Wagnall's porch. <laughs> oh man, it's we're like, gonna end the show with this too. I'm gonna. Oh, at the end, yeah, 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 no, no, save those, yeah, for the end of the show. Well, fuck, that's okay. So Austin wins maybe the what? Are, what are we smoking? The award gift, of just the, the year. Gifts of the, yeah, you know what? So I don't absolutely. often yes. do. Yeah. You know, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Every time on Fried Rice podcast, we always do an end of the year list where I give the yes, best of awards. The best of. This is and our best of. By yeah. far, Austin. Weirdly enough, being the Austin's one that doesn't mom. smoke, and Austin's mom tag team, she yeah. gets credit. Wins the What Are We Smoking yes. Award of the Year. One That's more right, time. Ryan. You got yeah. one year, dude. <laughs> yeah, beat that, Top Ryan. That. Yeah, Ryan, we'd love to have you back on the show. Yes, we miss dude. you. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined your, your anti-Ryan vibe. I just want him. I like, I like having him here. I love the banter between us. <laughs> Ryan's the best. Uh, okay, so I brought, of course, um, I have a Jeter, which 
We don't need now. <laughs> Which we don't need now. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... The feels, it, it, it feels... Yeah, it feels <laughs> impotent. Like, I'm going to put it back in its jar. It feels... It's a baby jeter, and it feels yeah. impotent it next feels to these like other... Because it's half the size of those... Oh, my God. Austin's, Austin's mom. mom is invited anytime. Anytime. She wants to be on the show. Yeah. She is more than welcome. <laughs> Oh my god! Wait a minute, does your grandma smoke too? She does edibles. Edibles, same yeah. Thing. I'll, I'll she'll, she'll have these little ten milligram ones. Yeah. I go take a whole bunch of them, and I won't even take one. I'm like, I can't do it. She'll be like, I already had four of those. You fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so what so would? Uh, mom, yeah, my mom's the same way. What movie would your mom ask her? Right, text her. Let's see if she'll get back to you. What movie is she throwing into the Tubi ring? For, 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 for us come. voting. You want me to call her? You want to talk to her? <laughs> yeah. Wait. We're on speaker. At the, okay. T- text her and tell her we're going to call her at the uh, when we're doing movie Rex. Yeah. And so it, tell her to look on Tubi and see if she can get us. Because uh, I'm going to go give on her... Tubi and find a movie you want us to review and we're going to call you at the end of the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be great. That's perfect. Okay. Because uh, she gets a, she gets a vote for getting sure. me for this fucking yes, ripped. Uh, uh, okay. Holy shit. Uh, oh, so it was Christmas break? Yes. God, I mean, I could have transitioned with those excellent gifts. Man, Austin, you killed it today. Yeah. God, man, you just... Pizza, gifts. I think it's the you just, holidays. I'm I think you just good. out, like, in my personal life, you squeaked by Mike as far as yeah. friends go. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> it's like... Look, Mike and I are great friends. I'm using that Very standing. close, but hey, he's but never hey. gotten me some cool-ass <laughs> fucking Star Trek shit. <laughs> It's so cool. oh, I live in Bullet City. I wouldn't even know where to get those. Man, those are cool. Although where I will say, I will uh, say, this, Mike's all that stuff's in my... jars. No, no, the oh those. The... Uh, I found them in a thrift shop. There's a bunch of thrift, thrift shops, shops out there. And I was listening to the Patterson? podcast. He went on a tangent about Star Trek. No, right. in uh, uh, Surprise, Arizona. Surprise, okay. And I go through those a lot because I mean They're it's fun. a lot of old people They're in Surprise. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. all the young people stuff is just sitting just there waiting to be bought. Yeah. And again, just to describe how cool those are. It's Polly Pocket or Mighty yeah, Max if you're a kid for, from the 90s. Only for cool people. You open <laughs> yeah. it up. It looks like a medical tricorder or the other one, which I didn't mention, looks like a, one of the com badges. Yeah, um, it's a com badge. Yeah, yeah. You open it up and then it becomes a it's play set little with the little mini it. figurines. I love it. It's one of the coolest things I've seen as far as... Yeah. There was a Star uh, Wars one similar to that. that was oh, like yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure there's... But, but I think it was like Micro Machines branded the Star Wars. Thing. Yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. something like that. Yeah. I had a, um, I had one from the show Reboot. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember Reboot? Mm-hmm. Were you alive then? Reboot you were, is you were, It would have skipped... No. It would have skipped your... Reboot was a show last year. That's why it's freaking me out a little bit. But it's Obvious, a different But I'm show. not talking about okay. the one from last year. If okay. they're... They might have rebooted Reboot. Or there's another show called Reboot because right, it's a very, show, yeah. but the one I'm talking about was the first. I, it might be the first, but I, I believe it's the first 3D animated TV show. Animated. Uh, it's okay. very, very apparent that it's the first. Uh, it looks <laughs> sure. it, it's for its time. I remember right, being blown time. away, sure. and it was like loosely related to video games. I think like I think it was like sort of Tron meets. Uh, it's like a G five show or something like that. No, like this a, was on a on an actual network. On a regular network? G4? G4, yeah, G4. <laughs> no, oh, this was, you this was this was. It's been uh, a while. Rest in peace, G four. Yeah, it's been a while. Came the Esquire Canadian network. animated series reboot. I didn't mean for us to go down this much of a tangent, but uh, ninety four. Yeah, this is on what YTV. Okay. This is the. Vancouver I just want. This is what they look. I like. definitely never saw this. Yeah. 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 Well, this. Oh, it was original CGI stuff. Yeah. Man, I brought this up for a reason. Uh, what was, was it? Hot. What were we just talking about, Austin? I need you to reboot. No, before <laughs> reboot. that. The tricorder and Star Trek. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all. Oh, wow. the micro all this to say stuff. nothing, but I had a reboot. One. <laughs> yeah, you had a reboot micro yeah, yeah, yeah. type. Reboot, uh, Mighty Max type <laughs> toy. Let's see if it pops up. I don't know. One of these fucking things. Hexadecimal alert. It's that thing right on the top. Yeah, that's it. No. Oh, that might have I been I think it. that is it, yeah. The years of nostalgic plastic. I know. I love this shit. They still make this stuff, though. It's Polly Pockets. And, mm. uh, I, yeah, man, you hit the nail on the head of like stuff, of like yeah. uh, nostalgia. I'm glad you liked that because it was a choice between those and a vintage Barbie and Ken doll, but they're dressed in Star Trek attire. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. But are they... Were they real 
It was actually, actually Mattel put those out. Officially with licensed the... Barbie. See, that's Barbie cool. That's pretty cool too. But I'd much rather just. Oh, that's those. more like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yes. the the weird thing was be is if I hit if I didn't hide it, but if I put it in a in a not as the the less viewed publicly place that I place a Barbie doll, right? It I think the weirder I become. The weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Inversely, the more public place I put a Barbie doll, the weirder I am. So, <laughs> so there way, is a middle spot. There's a middle spot. I don't somewhere. know where it is where I could put a Barbie and people would be like, "I get it." Well, Randy Ice kind of skews the line between that, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. Which brings me to I always wanted to ask you, does Randy Ice the puppet talk to you like Green Goblin's mask? Like, sort of. Wake up, Andy. We have a world to conquer. Well, no. You're like, no, I, stop. Okay. You're weak. I made you stronger, <laughs> Andy. Oh, my God. Have you seen the show Obliterated yet? No. <laughs> the Green Goblin's Mask is going to come back to you when you watch that show. It's on Netflix. It's called Obliterated. It's the most insane shit you've ever seen in your life. Hmm. Okay. I mean, insane oh. as in you have never seen anything like it, trust me. What are we me. talking, like Black Mirror anthology series? Oh, no. No, no. We're talking straight action, crazy show. Straight action. When you look oh, at I looked, it. I looked it up. Obliterated. Yeah. It's, it's it looks, insane. It looks, it looks pretty cool. It's so insane, dude. If you could just, and you'd have to go on. Yeah, I don't no, know I'm actually. You can see the dick scene in it. But there are, it's it shows a lot of dicks. Let's I like, I like how it's a bunch of people. It's just it's a lot of dicks. Dicks. They're threatening to blow up Vegas. And I'm oh, like, no, oh, no, why are you trying is. to stop that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You you to, it's insane. The show's insane. Why, why is all the dicks a selling point? I don't I don't know. It's obviously the people that made this. It no, works for Game of Thrones. Your, no, no, I Mike. No, I'm no, asking, you don't understand. Mike, this Mike has, I'm asking you. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm asking you. You're trying to sell us on the show. No, because it's the most. I'm telling you why. You asked why. I'm telling you. What? It's the most insane use of number of dicks you've ever seen in your life on a show. They, uh, but why is that your? You know how point? you know how South Park will like take something and try and just beat it to death. Yeah, that's what they do in this show with dicks. They're in every episode, everywhere. Oh, Are you, is okay. this going to be the beginning of you pivoting from saying tits, <laughs> tits in every no. episode to dicks in every? No, episode? it's just this particular show. He's, he wants to be it's the mayor just, of Dickville. <laughs> Not the are, we gonna watch, are we going to watch this? Are we going to like talk about Salt on Precinct 13 and you're going to be like that damn dick-hiding bitch? <laughs> the salt city hiding bitch? <laughs> Possibly. No. Well, <laughs> no, when you hear my takes on Salt on Precinct 13. But anyway, Obliterated, it's insane. It's worth watching just for the insanity. I'm not telling you it's good. I'm telling you it's insane. Okay. It's worth watching for the insanity of it. Okay. Well... So. People at home, if you want to watch an insane dick fuel, fueled show, <laughs> exactly. go watch Obliterated. Yes. Brought to you by Mike, the, the <laughs> titty hiding bitch. We got our female, uh, we got our female viewers back. Yeah. Female yes. viewers are back in, locked and right. loaded. Thanks, exactly. Mike. Anti misogyny is what they'll call exactly. you from now on. If, your, if you, your actions if, moving forward. If you if you're tired of seeing yeah gratuitous sex and violence. Watch this show, and you will get way more of it than you ever thought. It's enough to make you never want to see it again. It's insane. To see another dick again? No, just the, the gratuitousness oh, of the entire show. Because here's the thing. You've only implanted one thing. There's and only one brain. thing I've ever But it always it's your brain that's getting stuck on dicks, Andy. Yeah, it always <laughs> it's is. your brain. It always is. Uh, so pivoting backwards <laughs> before we talked about <laughs> Obliterated, I think yeah. there was a point I wanted to finish on your thing, which was... Uh, obliterated on obliterated? No, I've, I've, lost, I've it. lost it too. <laughs> oh no, we were just reminiscing about toys. Yeah, yeah. that's not important. Uh, <laughs> oh, the Barbie thing. Ah, uh, yeah. I think probably the, dolls. the funniest way to display that would be out of box. Um, elf on a shelf style. <laughs> elf on a shelf, sitting somewhere is what I was going to say. Um, next to the next to the, but then like. They would be next to the wharf statue that I have. Okay. Um, I make. I would. I would have to start a Star Trek area, which I might now. So. Well, you could get. Uh, yeah. Nah, but you know what? I don't need a Barbie. If we're <laughs> listen. Oh God! Wait. No. So, wait. Hold the does fucking Randy phone. Need a Barbie? I might have to edit this because earlier in the episode I said, "Hey, everybody, bring me presents." And now I'm saying I don't want Barbies. You might get lots of Barbies. <laughs> oh my right, God! Yeah. Hold on. Let me write this down. Uh, <laughs> Let me write this down so I can never edit it. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to put Barbie edit and hope I know what I mean when I'm less stoned later. But thank God, if I had smoked one more rip off of that, 
I would have let that go un, yeah. unnoticed and oh. <laughs> maybe don't talk about it anymore. Just moving on. Moving yeah, on. Moving uh, on. <laughs> okay. Let's well, about, let's talk about the movie. I guess we. Yeah, we might let's as well. Know, at some point, get to the movie. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Um, it's Assault on Precinct 13. <laughs> Assault on Start Precinct 13. Start with the 13. name of the movie. Sorry. I'm still. <laughs> he's so high oh, now. I love those joints. They're so good. It's okay. I really enjoyed the movie. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, yeah. Gonna, we're starting off, your, starting off Jump Street. Off I'll, general feeling. Yeah. Okay. General feeling. If he's saying he loved it, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll gonna, Yours? I'm a fan. I thought it was great. Okay. But we'll get into reasons why. We'll get into reasons and why. And Mike? My overall opinion is it's maybe the dumbest fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. It's worse. It's well worse than Terrifier. This is a horrible oh. fucking movie, objectively. Okay. There's not... It has no... I won't say no redeeming qualities, because it is what it is. It's a John... It's very John Carpenter. Yeah. Very B-movie. Yeah. But it's... As far as being good, it's not good. It's objectively bad. People make stupid decisions in the entire movie well, from the very beginning. Yeah. It starts out as just cops yeah. murdering people. It's just you the say, whole, okay. the whole so, movie, which yeah, you didn't yeah. even realize when I started talking no, about well, it. No, well, I remember. I remember the scene. You're there. like, oh, what cops murdering people? I'm like, who's the good guys? Does, There's no good guys in this guy. Okay, well, movie. let's yeah, let's break it down because I <laughs> I agree with a lot of what you're saying. Yeah, doesn't make me hate the movie one bit. <laughs> exactly. uh, I think like just for, if we're gonna talk about the dumbest things in this movie, yeah. let's start with the dumbest thing in the entire movie, and it's the the orchestrated an unreliable amount of gang members the the oh, amount of like every, the, yeah. the, the, the overwhelming the guys overwhelm well here's yeah. the thing there's about 10 scenes that go on way too long of those <laughs> gang members out in the lawn yeah. area just yeah. walking or there's over. hundreds of them at one point there's about 150 of them <laughs> yeah. running across in different directions going on every which way some just going back and forth and then they, but then they just go back it's uh, <laughs> the whole yeah. thing. Then they Listen. just all. Then they all. But every time you look at them, they're crouched in that like oh, yeah. GI like, Joe like position, GI Joe's where like, they're all like they're, they're they're not gang members. They're yeah. At this point, like they're military, they're military yeah. gang which members. is going to lead me to why this movie isn't so bad. I know that's a pivot, but hear, <laughs> hear me out. The reason that those gang members are the way we are is because we're dealing with a alternate style universe. Where? So there's zombies or aliens is what I They're not zombies or aliens. Then it would make a lot more sense. That is a... a, 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 If they were zombies, this might have made more sense. Sure. (laughs) In a way. It could have been a more solid movie. They did come off like zombies because like you said, they were all like military trained outside of the place, like surrounding it. But then when it came into like them just... Fucking mindlessly crawling through the windows and yeah. everyone has guns. They're blowing away. Give me hella Call of Duty zombies. Which vibes. guns? You, were those the silence guns, making no noise even when they shoot no, out no, windows? No, they didn't even have guns. They were just trying to yeah, crawl no, through I the know. windows. And just you remember, no, no, remember that? that five minute on like just that five <laughs> minute scene where it's he's playing whack a mole with yes. a shotgun and the, yes. like yeah stock gun shot you know, with his with his thirty seven so. shot shotgun or oh. the or well, the four, he, I counted the fourteen shots out of the revolver he ran into the other room <laughs> okay. they did show them loading yes. every now and then but why didn't the army guys I know that they put the word cholo down and I know that that means a lot to yeah. these people is that what the word was cholo yeah. Is that? Am I was, wrong? I think so. I think was it? Was, was it that flag they threw yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Which never unraveled. You never no. got to see it. No, because it made no sense. Like everything else. Also, in the, movie. the very, very beginning, oh. there's just a bunch of cops on rooftops, and they just, just straight up super randomly duper, murdering people. Super duper Rodney King. These six yeah. guys, and they're just murdered. Them. And then you hear that you see the cop walk out of his house. That is way too nice for a fucking yeah. cop to be living. Well, he in. just got promoted. Listen, <laughs> listens to the radio. And they're referring to all the guys they killed as juveniles, and like yeah. none of those guys were under thirty. No, they were, well, no, whole... this is but this is uh, this came out in the seventies, seventy six. Yeah. According to seventies uh, movies and TV shows, those were as close as you got to but actual teenagers. The gang and shows. members were was he trying like Happy Days? Wasn't so, it a bunch of I was thirty just something at the four, teenagers? But the four gang members was he just trying not to be racist by making them like these not really gang member dudes? Uh, yeah, <laughs> <He> had, <laughs> like, he had he one just, of each race. I yeah, point. yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
that's, that's how <laughs> gangs work, you know. They they all get together no, from the different what, races. That's why this is a different universe. Racism doesn't exist in this universe. That's no no. Hear me out. If racism doesn't exist, we're still gonna have gangs. It's just we're gonna have gangs of we multicultural just said Cholo people. A minute ago on the flag, okay. Oh, racism but, exists. But I don't think he understood what Cholo meant because <laughs> yeah, uh, think that? Okay, I've heard the word Andy. Cholo in the past, like, and yeah. I know that it, they didn't uh, mean. We're going to kill you. Yeah. Nothing will stop us. Our lives mean nothing. You will uh, die. Uh, we weren't sure. Or were they maybe American Indians doing their blood brother thing at the beginning? That because that blood also ritual. made yeah. the emo blood ritual. Maybe they're American will, Indians. And they're like, fighting against the man. So maybe that's what he was trying to get. Well, they're not, I don't fucking know. This movie's Native stupid. American, but they're not Native American. I they're know, Andy. And they're that's they're the point. Listen, there's a lot of things you could point out in this movie that just like don't make sense. Exactly. And, like, the whole movie itself, there's Does no it? lesson to be learned. It is all a story of some crazy shit that happens. <laughs> yeah, it's I agree. Insane. You guys are right. It's Nothing makes sense. <laughs> Why did they just... Hey, freeze! And then, without another word, just kill all of those people okay. in that in that exactly. In that but why, then, why is cuts... the ice cream truck? Wait, I've been to a thousand ice cream trucks in my life, right? Oh wow, I, I can tell. Right, and my and my children and all that through the whole life. I've <laughs> taken kids to ice cream trucks. I can't tell you how many times, and I can't remember one time I got a cone with a rolled scoop out of an ice cream truck. And then it was the wrong one. It was well, you're vanilla. talking about the '70s. It never that never happened. No, it didn't exist, Andy. What? <laughs> it didn't exist. Okay. I mean, okay. I believe nobody, you because I nobody had an ice that cream truck had... where they rolled up the ice cream and put it on a cone. That has to exist. Somewhere. Out. Wait, 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 wait. And it and then it was the wrong one, not the orange swirl one. Well, yeah, she okay. did ask for a vanilla swirl. She asked for a vanilla. He was swirl. preoccupied. That's true. <laughs> Exactly. He was watching this mul- this gang <laughs> fucking drive up and down the street very yes. slowly. I would have been sketched out too. If I was the ice cream guy, right? Here I am. Yeah. Hey, we're close, kids. Sorry. But then she insists on like, well, of course, an I'm going to give her an ice, cream, an ice cream scoop because money. Okay. Um, the, but the point about it, I think, makes sense is the point. <laughs> when... Okay, then he shoots the ice cream guy, the little girl in the ice cream bin. Oh, whatever. before he does that, he puts the gun in his mouth, and it's really gay looking. Yeah. I'm like, why? Oh, yeah. no, no, he's, like... he's just straight out fucking his <laughs> this mouth. This is the yeah, most no... diverse <laughs> gang I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and then and then when he shoots the guy, he's obviously dead. He's dead for two or three minutes down there on the ground, but Tilly gets up and tells the guy that the shit's under the under the dash is a gun. Yeah. It's just the That's whole. That's some movie. badass last words. Every though. decision made in this movie is made. To obviously adjust, uh, move the plot forward. Yep. What what could be? Well, there was no reason plot. to kill that ice cream man. And there's no, no, no yeah, reason at all. There's no reason at all. You're just drawing attention to your gang now for no reason. That's the whole the I whole love thing. That. Yeah, I, no, I, liked, no. I like. I love gets... that it shows they don't give a fuck. I laughed about... really hard at that point because <laughs> yeah. I not the fact that the little girl and the ice cream man die, but the fact that the guy comes out of the phone booth. And yeah. then it just cuts to them laying dead on the ground. I just saw that. I was like, ha, ha, like, <laughs> But the phone booth, the phone booth, which, by the way, also is in the middle of a dirt field. That makes sense, though. There were phone booths everywhere nothing. back in the 70s. No, not, where was no, Superman no, going to change? Not when there wasn't electricity. Michael. There was not phone booths where there wasn't electricity or phone lines. This was set Wait, up this, in the middle of a fucking dirt this field. This is downtown. Well, I... No, look at that dirt field. Oh, yeah, thing. The Go second, back fucking, not the one by the ice cream truck. The he went to ice another truck. one. He the went, other one he goes to. Yeah, I don't know where they were. It's in the middle of nowhere. There's a field. There's a he phone did booth just kind of run it. through a field yeah, to, a, to phone a phone booth. booth and then run more through a park. It was like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, actually, booth. I think it was a park. <laughs> I think it was just a phone booth and a park. But that's not how they are. They're, They're just not sitting by themselves out in the middle of the We park. don't know what's happening. What I'm saying is alternate universe rules. <laughs> yes, as long as you make everything an alternate universe, this movie That's works. what I'm saying. In this universe, <laughs> silencers work better. <laughs> yeah. Windows don't make noise when Racism they Racism doesn't exist. The Carpenterverse. Yeah. yeah. It's Chil- the you can kill children on TV, on right. movies. Yeah. You don't see that a lot. So, Speaking of which, a uh, uh, fun facts about the little girl getting shot that I brought up earlier. Hey, yeah. thanks for sticking around, listener. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's um, for you. That's the for ones you, paying the attention. One that, yeah. <laughs> that that little girl actually grows up to become one of the ladies in the Real Housewives, and she is also the woman yelling at the cat meme. She's the one woman yelling oh, at really? the cat. Yeah. I don't know what yelling at cat. I don't know the is. yelling at the cat meme either. But it's I like the ladies holding one lady back, and yeah. she's like yelling, and there's a cat sitting at a table. Jeez. It's a pretty popular meme. Someone will get it. But then also uh, <laughs> that scene is what. Uh, so this is one of John Carpenter's first movies. Very low budget, all shot on one location. This one right low here? Low budget. Let's not go to low budget. Okay, there's one scene in this movie 
This is where I basically quit watching the movie. I did. I about halfway. Well, it was more than halfway through. Well, you quit watching the movie? Well, I didn't quit, but I quit. I started paying attention to my phone and shit at some what? point. Because, because there's a point in this movie. Wait. Okay. There's a point in this movie. First of all, where they go. First of all, it's not even Precinct 13. It's Precinct 9. So let's start with that. Speaking of nonsensical. The whole place isn't even Precinct 13 they're at. It's Precinct 9. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the, not even Precinct 13. The building even there's says There's no assault on, on Precinct 13. It doesn't even happen. Okay, but There's that's, be a that's not my that. problem. They went through name changes. But, of the but movie. going to the name changes okay. and all that shit, my problem with this entire movie boils down to this. When Mr. Black Cop comes out, Mr. Just Promoted to Lieutenant. His name is Bishop. I know. When all Bishop right. comes out in front of the yard of the, of the precinct. Um, yeah. And with his hammer to nail in the handmade sign about the precinct moving that he's obviously just written himself... Yeah. Because the LAPD cannot afford the budget to make a sign about a precinct closing. They just close it and have the dude write a sign. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, like, I, okay, I'm okay. sorry. This hey, movie I'm, is objectively the stupidest thing I've ever seen. That This shit would never happen. I agree. Ever. In that, any wait, universe. No, alternate universe. Alternate movie. universe where the cops handwrite signs to hammer with this their own hammer poorer... and nails. They don't even have a custodian. They have the... The, this is a poorer the, police department because the LAPD. <laughs> if you don't have this, no, I'm not going to say the controversial thing I was going to say, <laughs> but uh, it was uh, maybe without racism, uh-huh. you wouldn't need as many police officers. Is <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying. So if we work I in a world saying, where, so, so basically, you've not defended any of the stupid things at all. Other I'm than saying, saying no. I'm saying John Carpenter made a world where racism doesn't exist, movie. and we should thank him for it. And then in this world of, so there's objectively no bad movies then because they just are different universes. Nope, I didn't care for Terrifier one bit. That's just I think we talked universe. about that. In I'm that like, universe, you can divide people in half. That's just how it works. Another stupid universe. thing to point out was that there's <laughs> these are cops and career criminals, and neither of them knew what to properly call ammunition. For all no. you gun nuts out there, maybe. No, they don't know shit. Yeah, they, they referred to the shotgun shells as rounds, and they referred yeah. to the bullets and the guns <laughs> as shots. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't realize that. Um, yeah. Okay. So the movie is objectively bad, <laughs> but I loved it. Um, I, I think the score is awesome. It's tense. It's cool. I love that there's, for some reason, pretty much just, uh, I think, three or four minutes of just windows being shot out. Uh, but you can't yeah. hear it. What? But you can't hear well, it. Well, you can't hear the bullets. In or this, the windows. Now, to be fair. To be fair, this is the 70s, right? The common myth on silencers is that they worked like they do in the movies from the 70s in which this was made. So I'm not going to fault this that it it has the beep, beep noise, right? Uh, So fuck it. If this, in in this, whatever. In this universe. Well, even in this movie, (laughs) if if he goes with like, hey... It'd be cool if they all used silencers. That way the neighbors wouldn't even hear because it's a downtown... But does anybody really think if you use a hundred silence guns, it doesn't make noise? It makes breaking windows noises. Which, But no, but the thing is, the cops... The whole time we're like, we're. I know we're getting okay, reports of fireworks. Yes. We're getting reports of gunfire. They can't then, hear anything. But no. Yeah. But then specifically as they're driving by, they're like, we can't find this gunfire. Yeah. We're tripping out. Like they were worried. They were on right. it. Like because window glass break. At no point noise. did know. those two cops think that it was nothing. Like like maybe in the beginning they thought this could be nothing, but that intensified. They were good cops because they kept searching. Oh, they, they kept, kept on it. They kept yeah, going. They kept and on, they had yeah. never had never at one point where they're like, hey. We um, should just give up because fuck this shit. No, they were right. like, we can't find these cops. No, like, like we were these, or we can't yeah. find. And then shit. It, another part that made me laugh super hard. It just cuts to a dead telephone line guy just hanging. Yeah, out there. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Uh, that was a funny. I don't know what what he was going for with that. That they just killed him. They they, they, they just killed him so they could cut the, them. So yeah, would... cut the telephone lines. Saves us a trip with the scissors. I guess another stupid thing was that uh, the the. The guy who was sick, that was the whole reason the prisoners had to get, like, wheeled into the oh, prison. Yeah. He's, the the the, uh, the the black fella that, that's, mm-hmm. like, sitting next, he's sitting next to him the entire time. Three, 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 three different parts, and I'm like, why are you sitting right next to the guy who's obviously super sick? You're not chained yeah. to him or anything. In the beginning, he's chained to him, but, like, 
they're always he's like right there next to him, and then they put him in the three separate cages. I'm like, thank God. And then <laughs> although this, it did take thirty minutes to get there, what was the, the first thirty minutes, 30 minutes of this movie? Not only that, he tries the, the they send the Slow. the guy out to one yeah. of the prisoners to, out to make a break for it. He gets inside the car. He's driving away. Obvious, the most obvious stunt double. This is a black <laughs> bald car? man, yeah. and then the guy driving the car is a white guy with jerry curls that you can oh, clearly see. I don't a even full head of hair. That. Oh god, that sounds really good. I had to rewind. I was like, so I was gonna say the movie got better after the first half hour, but the first this at thirty three minutes, I actually wrote this at at this thirty three minute commercial. This is by far the worst movie we have watched. Yes, worse than Terrifier. Does it make you miss any Man movie we have watched? It we made, watched oh, so much better <laughs> at thirty minutes. I'm just saying the first thirty three minutes of this movie are. That's where you were at. That's where I was at. <laughs> it got better. Jesus. The, that and then when it came back from that commercials when he did that sign and that's when I was like, fuck. <laughs> he fucking hammered the sign in out front and talked to the people by itself. There's also like, two things where it tries like, to do like I know it came out before. About to hammer the sign in, I'm just like, dude, come but on. That's, it, really, it's the oh, it's the know. silliest thing. If they were trying to be serious and they made it look silly, in the it process. was so silly. Well, I think he was doing okay. So like every time the actress, the um, the one who played the secretary, the one that lives throughout of it. Throughout it, right? Like, there's one scene where the the blinds are are like on her eyes, and she's like looking flirting out. with yeah, the guy, yeah, yeah, sort of, and she's like looking back out, like, and forth, yeah, like just real overacting, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, that was Hitchcock, funny, like I don't care. Oh, you mean Lee, the chick, the chick yeah, Lee, yeah. yeah, not Julie. Julie's the annoying one that right. dies, and I'm very happy about it. Lee is yeah, my actual annoying. wife, and I've never simped for any woman, but I fell in love with Lee. <laughs> I thought she was so hot the entire time. <laughs> That is my wife, and don't say yeah. anything bad about her. I wasn't. I think she was. She was a sex pot the whole movie. Yeah, she's, she's like her job. That she can get. Job. She she can get it now. Yeah. At oh, seventy five yeah. years old. Who is I don't she? Care. Well, well, yeah. Uh, Laurie Simmer. Okay, you looked it up. Nice. Uh, yeah, she was hot. Uh, huh. Oh, and then speaking of hot, I mean not. And a bad bitch too. She blows a guy's head and off. A bad she gets bitch. shot. Yeah, and she's just cool yeah. and mellow the whole time. I like how she was like she had her uh, the little gun and she was just shooting perfect. It was like amazing. But she took her it's time. Like, yeah, she did take her time, but she was really good shot. She, she was, was a good bad. shot. One handed revolver not, style, and not no kickback really or nothing. It was great. Yeah, it cut away with, with and a only kickback. and she only fired thirteen or fourteen times uh, before reloading, which I thought was great. But it is a police station. There could have been more bullets. You got to put them in the gun. It was a revolver. Yeah, well, you there was a lot stop. of times we were looking at a shotgun guy. She could have been reloading. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm just saying. In this universe, anything's possible. I uh, love the uh, use. Oh, man, I'm just high now. Uh, <laughs> use. I'm trying to, so what is the good? Tell now. I told you the bad parts. That's really the bad of the movie. Other than that, the action stuff at the end. The oh, last. The last we're all about good stuff. Let's good. get into the good stuff. Yeah, last I think Bishop's a badass good. main character. I love him because he's unsure. He's not perfect. He After makes he got, mistakes. I, I thought he, he got much better. Dope. His penmanship sucked, though, on that sign. What? It was just not that good a penmanship. How do you know he wrote sign? it? He just, he just hammered it in, Mike. <laughs> okay, well, How do you know? You're just making just found it somewhere. He it found feels it like somewhere. you're trying to paint this guy into a corner. He just found it somewhere, I guess. That's true. Or what are the sec? Or Julie wrote it. We all hate Julie. Let's pin it on her. Yeah, blame it on Julie. <laughs> yeah. Julie, Julie, wrote Julie wrote it. She sucks. Wrote so she should have better penmanship. Better penmanship. Uh... There was two parts that this reminded me of, like, like I know it came out before Pulp Fiction, but you know on Pulp Fiction, everyone wants to know what's in the case, yeah. what's in the suitcase. It's like they tried to do two things, uh, like, uh, one is where uh, uh, Bishop's talking to Lee, my wife, huh. and he's my talking wife. about, oh, my, my, my dad sent me in here when I was a kid, and I carved something into the desk. She's like, what'd you carve into the desk? And he's standing over the desk, and he shows it, and they never tell you what he, what he wrote. Uh, then there's Napoleon Wilson, yeah. who is played by John Carpenter's neighbor at the time. Okay, so <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that up. All right, real quick. They also never. First off, my favorite character, Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, Napoleon. Yeah. What, what's his name? Napoleon Wilson. Wilson. Napoleon Wilson. Yeah. I love this dude. Can I get a smoke? Right. So a smoke. Yeah. Read yeah. his. Okay, I'm gonna read his his IMDb description. Uh, got a smoke. Darwin Johns Jostin secured himself a permanent place in cult movie yeah. history with a particularly laconically witty line, uh, laid back death row bound uh, convict yeah. Napoleon Wilson. 
Uh, it's his best role and played with exceptional skill. Mellow, low key with a um, hold on with yeah. a blah blah blah. Disarming. But uh, okay, but then it says with a sardonic uh, wisecrack. Uh, Justin's terrific portrayal of this acidic uh, and, and fatalistic Wilson should have led to bigger and better things. Alas, <laughs> did, it did not. That was it. It's just the end of the paragraph. That's the end oh, of the paragraph for IMDb. Not. You go back to his IMDb, and and, and, and he was in shit. Night Rider. But yeah, he did yeah. not Hill make Street it Blue big. Was, no, he's just a, he didn't make it anything. He's really real. a no. He's really a nothing wow. guy. And, and they hint at uh, why do they call you Napoleon Wilson? And he and you never find out why. He's no. like, oh, oh I'll tell time. you later. And then doesn't he say, oh, I had to tell that guy something later, right? Yeah. You never, uh, you never told him. You never find out. Yeah. It's like why? I wish this dude was in more things. Yeah. I keep thinking about movies. I wish that he was like in maybe like he would have mm-hmm. been a good. Uh, uh, <laughs> the Hitcher or The Hitchhiker, a movie like that. Yeah. Uh, where if he were to play like another, I mean, now I'm, I'm pigeon, I'm you know, I'm typecasting yeah. him as like a weirdo, but in this one he's charming. Yeah. yeah I think no, if, no, if you a... gave him Demented, he would have been able to play it off well. Yeah, and I think they maybe should have, and that's sort of the. One no, of the I like that he movie. went charming. I like yeah. that he was charming and good throughout the whole thing. He's always good. It. Yeah, he's the he death row good... man who did horrible things supposedly. I guess. They... And but yeah, he's through this movie. He's I pretty. He's, he's the only I guy you like. It. Yeah, yeah he's still, <laughs> you know, he's like, he still played patty cake with the other prisoner. Remember when they yeah. were like trying to? They did yeah. some patty cake, patty cake. One, patty two, cake. three, four. Fuck you, fuck yeah. you. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then he's like, I win. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We're how doing was, it again. I was gonna look yeah. up how that was played, but I don't know how to. How to do Look it up. Yeah, I saw that. Patty cake, yeah, knuckles, prison rules. Like this. This is rated R. I thought like this is pretty safe. Well, for the time, yeah, it was rated R because. Oh uh, yeah, no. So shit, the little girl got on the R rating. It's rated R for sure because I, I looked it up. <laughs> yeah. As I was looking this up while the movie was playing. Yeah. Uh, one of the trivia was um, I'll read it. Yeah, I was. Hang on, where's trivia? There's no nudity or anything. No, 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 no. It's, it's not, rated R. It's not even guts. There's I don't no think blood they guts swear. Or... I don't think they say fuck. And even the blood is like nothing really. They do say fuck. Do they say fuck? Yeah. They say it all the time. Oh yeah, I guess they do say. They it. say it all the time. Oh, where's the Where's the trivia? Uh, I thought there was one that said yeah, this, that they used the nat- word it's "fuck." Such like natural language that you don't really recognize it. I think they used it like a hundred and something times. Yeah. And as I was reading that fact, it's a lot of prison language, right? Yeah. They True. were saying the word "fuck." <laughs> oh, he was one of the guys. Yeah. John Carpenter played one of the gang members that got shot through the window. Okay, so, nice. so now I want to hear. I do want to know why you guys think it's objectively good. What's good about? It? Oh, I just by the way, it's not just. It's not just. I us, know it's Mike. not just you. If we go to Rotten Tomatoes, by the I way, I said I'm not. I said this is not a popular opinion. I wrote that right yeah. on my shit. Yeah, it's not just us. By the way, people at home, it's it's like oh. Austin and I are on the outside because we agree that uh, it's got a 96% on Rotten Tomato uh, uh, and then an 80% on audience. I understand it. I it's a good it's movie. So bad. Uh, it is a lot such of a bad lot of flaws, movie. but I think it gave it like a lot of charm. It made me like enjoy it all the way through. So much so that I actually went and bought the remake from 2005 with Ethan Hawke. Okay. And fucking, yeah, I thought it was a better it. movie. Martin we Lawrence. About Martin, sorry, not Mar- Martin Lawrence. Fucking idiot. Lawrence yeah. Fishburne. Lawrence Have you watched Martin it? Martin Lawrence Fishburne. Do you Have think you watched it was a better yet? movie? I did watch it. Okay, better so movie? hold on real quick because here's no. the thing. No. I'm about, He's about 32 through, minutes right? in. Yeah. And uh, so far, here's... Okay, so what I liked about the first movie is that it's one of those minimalistic sort of things. Sure. It's like you don't need to know why it is. It's just the plot is moving forward. Who you don't cares? Need to know why. It's assault on Precinct Thirteen. It's really Precinct Except Nine. It's precinct nine. Let's yes. fucking go. <laughs> it's Bishop. He's a cool Highway Patrol officer. Highway Patrol How officer. Would you, he's a he's not built for like he wasn't trained to be the no. guy to hold off a fucking assault. And yet, with the help of someone who would maybe vi- violent enough to do that kind of shit, help him. Does it? I love that it gets worse and worse, like more and more desperate. I like that eventually they're in a basement. They have that sign on the wheel. That was ridiculous. I forgot. <laughs> they have the explosion up in the corner. I love that they blow. I love all of it. I love that he pops up out of the sewer. But you don't think it's not ridiculous? I think it's very ridiculous. Okay. I think so much of it's ridiculous. They would have just I pulled think, that sign down and just. Fucked I feel them like up. in my mind when I remember those when I remember those gang members. Mm. Uh, it, the, the hundreds of them coming oh, up and then running away and then coming yeah. back or whatever those scenes yeah. I picture them like on the ground rolling yeah, around for no reason yes. doing like little little like little, it's such a silly G.I. Joe's do yeah, yeah yeah 
it really was John Carpenter just like, all right, and then and then they're gonna run over here and they're gonna run over here. We need to look. We need to make it look like there's hundreds of these guys. Uh, it's like, are you sure? They never really explained why there were hundreds versus the four guys from the yeah. original. Now really I don't like remember that. how many guys eventually. The car. Uh, my wife was assault. like, how did they get all these guys in this car? That's what my wife said because they went in a car to there. Well, they had five, five or six cars. Okay. The they rest, fit 172 people in yeah, five the rest, cars. The rest uh, parked down the street to be <laughs> yeah, conspicuous. My wife literally said, Where, how did they get this many people in the cars? Yeah, and then you it's see like, all the charred bodies of, they were called the Cholos, right? The, <laughs> Cholos. the charred Cholos on the floor, and they're just walking by all of them. They're all just... Like, yeah. so that gives you a good count right there. Not to mention all the dead bodies outside. Where did those the stacks? Of I bodies. like oh the first time there's a shitload of dead bodies around. Oh, and they pull and them then all they away. start. They start. They hit them all somehow. <laughs> it's like where's the bodies? Look, it's so over the top, so silly. But I would argue uh-huh. any John Carpenter movie. We just watched the thing. I or think the live. thing was over right. the top. They I think the, I think they live was over the top. I loved both of those. But like I, I think said, Halloween, aliens, monsters. I get it. Halloween is over the top, and that's realistic. Although, is it? Aliens because it's a monsters. guy that can get shot six times and then fucking live in the next movie. And monsters and zombies. No, but I he's agree. not a monster. Mike Myers is a human. This no, is Mike human. Myers, okay, Mike Myers is a zombie, basically. It's but not. Whatever. It's a, he's a human. He's not it's a proven human. to be a human. Well, it's been changed like over and over again. Probably he yeah. was part of some cult or something. Yeah, it's not. It's it's not a normal human like you. So okay. then, why can't you? So what I'm why, saying this is, this isn't a normal gang of people. That's what made, I said. This is a better movie if they're zombies or aliens or something. So they have reasons to do the. Well, I, yeah, you might be right, but uh, I like this movie for what it is. So let's. Uh, I guess we've got our opinions now. <laughs> let's uh, talk about the remake for just a second. Yeah. Okay, so they took the same basic concept, mm. but they just injected all of this early two thousands cop drama into it. Okay. So like, Bishop. Also, they made uh, Wilson in the new one. They made his name Bishop. So Martin Lawrence Fishburne is Bishop. Names, right? They yeah, swapped yeah, the, yeah. the bad yeah. guy's name for yeah. the old night. And really the races. Because Ethan Hawke is white and he's, yeah. the, he's the highway patrolman versus and the... It starts off with... Uh, uh, the, uh, what's his name? Ethan Hawke being an undercover cop like in the past... And he like get, if shit goes down. He loses two of his partners. So that's where okay. That's and the then drama part of it. Yeah, yeah. They uh they re- they replace Lee with uh, uh Christopher's girlfriend from Sopranos, which doesn't doesn't add up. Can't beat Lee. Right. Lee's Lee's Bay forever. <laughs> okay. Your um, wife. But yeah, they just inject all this like betrayal and and uh. There's all this like exposition and stuff going around. So there's around. actual plot to it, it's, basically. Yeah, it's, it's just so it's the same movie with plot. Yeah, I feel like okay. if you watched it at the time, you would have enjoyed it more. But right. like going back and was like, oh yeah, it's another one of these like kind of cop sure. movies. So it's the same old, same old. I got you. And like, I mean, Phone Booth came out around the same time with Colin Farrell, one yeah. of my favorite movies That's a good ever. Movie, yeah. And it's kind of almost the. It's like they they went back and tried to be more. Original. I mean, I know they're not two related movies, sure. but Assault on Precinct 13, all shot on one location, serious thing, no one can help you. And then same thing with Phone Booth, all shot one location, right. except every all the cops are there. Everyone's looking at this guy. And uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, but, that was your first, first siege but we're not even talking movies, about so. Man on the Ledge. Yeah, Feral Tangent, sorry. First Feral Tangent, <laughs> yeah. brought to you by Bell Ringers. <laughs> yeah, um, just being near Bell Ringers. But I mean, it, I, I was able to finish the movie, but I didn't think it was as good as the original. Sure. But it's oh, another it, I, movie. Though. I got about 32 minutes in and I saw so I saw the flashback. I'm like, oh, well, I, I, I kind of prefer just meeting this guy walking out of his uh, nice middle class house, going to work, just whistling, whistling literally yeah, whistling on his way to work, yeah. heading to work. And then you see when he gets out of the car. Oh, and I like that he doesn't want to be there. He's just like, he's Speaking like. Speaking of the car, though, did you notice how bad that car was for a cop car? Who would give a cop? That car was like, but the like movie's in '76. But no, it was not. A it was promoted a cop. cop. A promoted cop. It was a promoted. Wait, cop. are you talking about that the yellow cop? The yellow car. The black guy when he got in his car at the very right when he's Bishop. whistling and gets yeah, in the car. Bishop's when car. Bishop gets in his car, yeah, it's like no a 1964 Corvette. It's not. It's like not. It doesn't match. 
a police car of the time, but it was a police car. Leaving a house that is probably worth like one point three million dollars. Yeah, now. <laughs> it was like it was really bad. It was like you could just see the budget. Sure. I was just saying you could see the budget in the car he got in was a little fake police radio down here and all yeah. that. Was it. And he said, "I'm in an Motorola. undercover car." Brought to you by Motorola. Yeah, brought to you by Motorola. I'm in an undercover yeah, talk car. talk about product placement. Like, Motorola undercover car. Yeah. If you needed a CB radio back in the <laughs> fucking seventies, man, Motorola had yeah. you covered. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that remake, I, I was just like, when I was watching, I just preferred him getting on his little CB and going you, like... You actually kind of prefer the ridiculousness of the movie. Well, it, and like, Andy, you know what? I, I'm fine. proud of you. I'm sorry, I, I, I yeah. caught on a little late, but I'm really proud of you uh, that you did not bring up the Bill Murray phone thing again. <laughs> what, Bill? Wait, what? wait. What, did the, they have a cell phone in this? No. He, uh, the, you brought up the CB radio. I was like, oh no, oh, he's going to tangent into the Bill Murray secret cell phone thing. Listen, conspiracy. until <laughs> I see a secret cell yes. phone... Yes. I don't talk about secret cell phones. Yeah. Although, <laughs> although <laughs> I was watching Night's Tale. No, <laughs> had they had a cell phones at this time, it would have been great. Oh yeah, that was another thing they added oh. on to the the remake. It was like, oh, they're fucking with the cell phones too. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I was so I haven't gotten to that part yet. I was thinking like, how are they going to solve cell phones? Yeah, because it's, cell it's a scrambler, yeah. or some Jam- sort of jammer. Or yeah, something. of course, yeah. jammers. I'm sure those some bullshit. It just doesn't look that. So anyway, let's grade this. Let's put. Let's put a. And I hate that it's I two. I hate that there's just three of us because this is going to really skew what a lot of people absolutely love I agree. and consider I know. a classic. I know. And I don't know how to rate it. Look, when I and wrote God, my rating we, originally, look, look at this. It's an F with a line oh. next to it because it's almost like an A, but we don't even do A's because like I understand what he was going for and all that. So I was like. F A B C D. I have a lot of trouble rating this movie because the last thirty minutes of it's pretty good. The first thirty of minutes, worst shit I ever saw. Second thirty minutes is whatever. I, so it, this movie has lots of good to it and lots of bad to it, and it's like the bad is so bad. Well, you and George Romero differ very differently because uh, he, he commented on the movie. He, George Romero is one of John Carpenter's yeah, heroes. Sure. And he said, when that little girl got blown away, I was blown away. He yeah. gave him, like, so much praise. Well, see, that's yeah, what I'm saying. There's things kids. in this movie, killing kids, that's that's what I'm saying. That's We're into that here. But it was probably. unnecessary. My <laughs> point was that it was movie. unnecessary. My, my point to it was it didn't even move the plot. It was so unnecessary it didn't fit. It didn't do anything. All it that guy, like, that, these guys are fucked. That could have just been mad at the cops for any reason and gone after the cops. Had nothing to do with the rest of the movie. Killing the kid and the dad and the ice cream. All that shit was so interstitial to the movie. It well, made, meant that. But dad, you like you, pre- you got to appreciate the simplicity of it because now with like bad guys in movies like Thanos, was like, well, you kind of understand him, and then you and then you see that he's bad, but he has a good reason. Yeah, these guys, they just bad. straight up puts you. These guys are fucking bad guys. But they were already like, going to the cop place when they killed the kid. My point was no, there was they, no reason. Yes, they were. They were going. That was the whole. But listen, if you read. If you read it up into this movie, to what Carpenter said about it, they were already after the cops. That was the whole thing. For what they reason? had all those guns. Don't you remember? It showed all the guns in there and all that, and they told oh, yeah, it on the radio. Oh, because it's because the cops are they killing were already the going. Yeah, exactly. Well, the cops so the kid and all that shit was totally unrelated. The uh, cops it was just started a reminder. A hey, just so you know, yeah, these are bad guys. You saw their friends get killed, but don't feel bad don't for Don't feel them. bad for them. <laughs> They're bad guys, too. That's all that was. You know that the only reason we got Donald Pleasance in Halloween is because his daughters were fans of this movie. Okay. Yeah, so think about the, this, think this, about this, what you're okay. saying, Mike. What I'm saying, okay, so my rating of this movie, oh, realistically... Yeah, let's go. Realistically, my rating of this movie, on our scale... Which is B through W. Is a D. <sighs> Salt on Precinct 13. 1976. Three, six. 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 1976. Is a D a D from the guy Flat that D, recommended this fucking movie in the first place. Yep. All right. Awesome. <laughs> and I do understand why you could say it's a B or a C. I'm giving. But I it, also could say an F or a W. I'm giving it a solid B because I enjoyed it all the way through, despite all of its flaws. Lee might have had something to do with that. <laughs> And Julie is why it's not a B plus. <laughs> I love it. I I'm also giving a solid B. Okay. I thought, despite That's all right. of its glaring, over the top, ridiculous flaws, which I think that makes it a C, which is reasonable. I think movie. the dude that played Napoleon Dynamite was great. I think <laughs> that I wish he was in more shit. Yeah. I, so if this is really the only movie we get to see him shine at. Can I get a smoke? Like I think that's cool. I think this is a. I think yeah. he's dope. I would have liked to have more movies from him. He was dope. Uh, 
But if your best also the best Bishop, thing you the guy that played Bishop, that the, Bishop, huh? Bishop great. also the guy that played Bishop. Yeah, I'm actually he's not in a lot more stuff. Not in a lot more stuff either. And that sucks because yeah, he, he was, was great good. in this. He was so, good. Uh, and then Lee, also super baddie back in the day, seventies baddie. Yeah, hottie. Mike, he looked, mm-hmm. he squinted his eyes. She was only in uh, that and like one other movie, and then she just became school teacher or something. Married an actor, had a couple kids. I I didn't look too deep into it. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so we got San Francisco now. <laughs> two B's and a D. Yeah, so C. C+. I also got to add, you got to give credit that this being one of John Carpenter's first movies, if yeah. not his first movie, no, it's, it's his second. Fir- well, it's his second movie, but the first one looks really. Bad. And then just the first absolute, one looks like a student film or something. Absolute like bangers there on out though. I well, mean, until yeah, no, well, well, a certain point. Well, I don't know. We actually we were going through. Let's go back to that list well, of movies. Well, yeah, because some of them was... are objectively pretty bad, and some of them are pretty uh, good. Well, I don't know yeah, because yeah. now I'm giving it a different. Uh... They live is one of my favorites. <laughs> well, you're yeah, you're, you're, oh, they I, live. I, we've I, done. I it. We I love like they it. live. I did. Yeah, because we've already reviewed they live. Uh, we've done a lot of his the movies thing, because of this, and yeah, now uh, uh, we were actually talking about thirteen. So. Anyway, uh, it was Dark Star. We haven't watched it. Uh, then he did Halloween, which is great. Uh, the Fog, which is I want to watch. Escape, Escape from New, New York, York, I love. Halloween 2 eh, and 3. Yeah, uh, all of Prince of Darkness, I have not seen. They Live is great. Well, we don't, look, people have IMDb. We get it. There's uh, a Jason versus Leatherface? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, these are... Fuck. Well, some of it Hold is uh, I need it. You're top. on the wrong one. If you go to his writer IMDb... Then you see all the fan made bullshit. Yeah. Uh, this is the actual his uh, real stuff. So yeah, anyway, they, fucking he did live. Christine, which I want to watch it, uh, and I like Starman. Doesn't matter. People know who John Carpenter is. We've rated this thing. It's done. Let's move on to. It's a C plus. C plus. We gave it sweet. Yeah. Because I I I run this this fucking ship, and I don't want <laughs> and I don't feel comfortable giving it just a straight C. So C plus assault on pre C thirteen. Yay! All right. Uh, Christmas. You guys do anything fun? Yeah, we had a good, good uh, Christmas. Any fun stories? Really fun. Just hung out with the us. family. It's so family, yeah. It's made like, prime rib. Nice. We played Uno triple play, which, by the way, is surprisingly fun. Well, it sounds fun. Why yeah. surprisingly? I like I don't Uno because Uno's. Uno can get a little much with you know too many people. Uno triple play is a little faster moving. It's fun. It's okay. A fun game. Faster sure. Uh, I like I like a good card game. Uh, I've always liked Skipbo or uh, Sequence. Has always been good for like a group. Uh, but I, I always buy like the. Someone gave me a uh, Ganja Land, which is a. Uh, uh, it's like candy is that a land. Weed it's candy, candy land, land but it's, game? Yeah. <laughs> but it's a huge, beautiful, illustrated board where you pick up cards and it's like you have a timer to find a leprechaun on this. It's like a Where's Waldo type thing, okay. where you like find. Uh, is it weed based? Though? Yeah, yeah. Like, you're supposed okay, to smoke yeah. weed throughout uh, it. Yeah, uh, they encourage that. It's like take a hit. That's what I'm saying. One of the like, you it doesn't tell you to, to expressly it. smoke. It's not, you know, like. But I think it's it strongly suggests that right. you're fucking ripped sure. throughout it. Uh, we could play live on a uh, on stream. <laughs> yeah. if we ever get fucking video working, Andy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I had a good Christmas. I went home and I saw my family. That was fun. Uh, well, actually, I mean, I, that was before Christmas. I worked Christmas. Which... No, but then I had a good day after Christmas because you brought me back that clear. Clear, Clearman's, Clearman's. Again, brought to you by Clearman's. Uh, it's good, man. Love, you saw the plate. I sent you a picture of the plate I made. It was like just. Listen, if you're in California. Clearman's and Patty's plate, basically. Go get yourself some fucking Clearman's uh, cheese bread at yeah. any State of Brothers. It's really good. I'm all nasally. And right the now. next day, we took and I made one and put some cheese on top. On top of the cheese spread, I put regular cheese. Okay. And oh, my goodness. It was good. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to fuck with the. <laughs> <laughs> the taste that just I a just little parmesan on top. Maybe mm. it was good, but because uh, Clearman's, uh, then we started reading the label, trying to figure out. It's like there's a lot of ingredients in it. It's very good. No, I made it once. Yeah. Uh, oh, you tried to make your own? I I did. I well, did no, you couldn't own. have. It's impossible. There's no. It doesn't tell you what's in it. What do you mean? Well, the last item is just spices. You, well, if you, if you, <laughs> like, you know, I, you I, I get if you, you can't if you, really duplicate it. Sure, if you look yeah. at the ingredients list of something and yeah. go, "How do I make this?" 
I can understand that being difficult. Yeah. But if you Google how to make Clearman's cheese spread uh, and you go to the how it's fucking made uh, recipes dot com or whatever, then it shows you this is how to make Clearman's cheese spread. Exactly what's in it. it tells down you exactly to the spices you call that and then you make it. That's for everything. If you, I mean, like everything. Well, I've done several of those and they never turn out exactly. Didn't you make that on an episode for everybody? Well, yeah, he made the well, bread. I, I actually yeah, had, had it, the real, he, he had had the real, real thing. cheese he didn't spread. He didn't make though. it. Make it. I think it has worked. Uh, I've done it for the queso dip for chilies, and I think the only difference that is what chili you use as the base. So I think I've made a, a right. better version because I use like a spicier chili. Uh, so I just had like a one that sure. I preferred. This is just chili and cheese, and it mixed together. Well, it's Valvita, but then it's it's chili, but then it's also spices, quote unquote, as okay. you would put it. Yeah. But it's very specific. It's three teaspoons yeah. of this. It's two teaspoons. Of, but it's and then you put it in a crock pot sure. and let it do its thing, right? Uh, that I think has come out pretty I good. I love that dip anyway. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, I. That's a that's a killer. You tell what I always get stoned and start talking about food. And stuff. Yeah, I should do that for more uh, parties. What are we doing? This isn't podcast. <laughs> well, let's not get into that caviar potato for yeah. a third time. <laughs> caviar potato. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Twice. Ca- oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Right, right, right. <laughs> Thank you, Austin. You're going to be like yeah. the uh, the. the the chronologic, the chrono, yes. the chronicler yes. of the show. Oh, dude, except except so for he's listening in reverse as he goes back. So, so many, so, so many episodes where like you guys were talking about corn fest, and you're like, "Do we even have corn here? Like, what would it actually be?" It's almost like yeah. meth fest. Meth fest. And I was yeah. listening. I was like, "Talk about shooting up a crowd." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or uh, you guys were talking about like a, a group of Gary Buseys. You got a gaggle of a Buseys. Gaggle of Buseys. <laughs> nice. I was hoping we'd do some sort of end of the year. Highlights. Highlights. I can't yeah, remember shit. We can't but, remember yeah. it because we were here stone. Biggest <laughs> disagreements are good ones. <laughs> oh man. God, the fucking I, Christmas one. The the season finale where we talk about Die Hard being a Christmas movie. Christmas movie has to be maybe the angriest I've been on the show. <laughs> yeah. You told him to get the fuck out of your house. <laughs> Did yeah. I? No, I didn't. <laughs> the very end one of the last yeah. things you said <laughs> no I did yeah. fucking music playing and shit yeah. <laughs> get the fuck out of my house <laughs> oh I hope I said it in a funny way it was it, it was. was okay Jesus it wasn't rude it was funny well out of context of the yeah. moment I sound like a jerk a lot of the times yeah. I've noticed like if I, if you read oh the, if you're out of context no, no if you just read the yeah. transcript of these episodes I'm a fucking monster <laughs> a monster <laughs> God, I'm a fucking just <laughs> degenerate, horrible person. I hope. Anyway, if you're listening at home, I'm sorry. <laughs> but listening to the episodes backwards, like in a backwards order for me, uh, right. it really does show how much better this podcast gets each one. Right. Each time, it's just better and better. It's funnier. Oh, and on we're better at doing it. Thank God, because yeah. we're getting more downloads. Yeah. So I have my cool bumper magnet. Did you see it on the? I way did in? see that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm representing the. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna offer the other one I have to either one of you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, Actually, yeah. you would How be better it? because it, you're traveling further. It's it's fairly. I need to get it's one regular too, bumper though. sticker style. Okay. I need to get one too. I I, to I'm gonna order more like small. the one that I have, but I'm gonna yeah. make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. Because I think it's just a little bit too It'll fit better, right? Yeah. It'll fit better on mine. It doesn't matter. This is so. Hey. Inside baseballs at home. Fuck. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, those one of the things about getting high. Is fucking great. That's <laughs> yeah, one of the things about getting high on the podcast. All right. Well, sometimes we lose track. Yeah. So Christmas is great. That was fun. Season finale. This is episode two. Season two. We're here. Uh, let's do. Let's do our movie suggestions and get the fuck out of here. Okay. What do you What do you say? Our movie suggestions for next. Unless week? you got more. Uh. That you Wait, I'm my mom to text me back so she could throw in her. Maybe we'll do it the next episode or something. Wait, but she hasn't texted she you hasn't back. She hasn't back still. She hasn't that was chosen. A long she knows. Time ago. She got. She. She's oh, looking. she hasn't chosen. Okay. She you know what? She... Just put the pressure on her a little bit. Yeah. Just be like, hey, listen. Just choose something. It's fun. It's not. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, say, we're not. It doesn't have to be good. Obviously, we just watch this. But uh, <laughs> a very, a very good movie that we all it's loved. Okay. Uh, so what? she she chose the movie. Wait, no, she we have to call her and get her to okay. say it. Yeah, okay. she's gonna she's gonna. Oh, I'm gonna light these joints again because we're about to get out of here anyway. So, call her. okay, my movie. I want to stick with John Carpenter. Okay, Ghost of Mars. Fuck, that's so good. It's not too. Hey, bad. mom, you're on the podcast. Hold on. I don't even know. Honestly. Oh, 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 Austin's Lord. mom. What's up? <laughs> uh, so. So my movie that I'm suggesting, uh, a while back, I just listened to the episode, 
I sent you, Andy, a message recommending a movie for you to recommend, but to be fair, you gave me credit for selecting the movie, and everyone else on the podcast just absolutely shit on me. They well, fucking it? did. It was, Mike a, was, like, it was a Mark oh, so Hamill. Mike was like, he is just a fan? And, and yeah. I was like, fuck you, Mike. Oh, and Zach, wow. Zach was like, I'm a stickler for the rules, and he's not a member of the podcast. Wow. So, yeah, fuck you, Zach. That's right. Fuck yeah. your God. <laughs> uh, go hang out with Matt, that little bitch. So my recommendation. Matt, you little bitch. Matt, you little bitch. <laughs> Uh, so my recommendation is goddamn motherfucking slipstream starring Mark Hamill. It's Mark Hamill yeah. with a gun oh. killing people. What more could you? It's Luke Skywalker with a gun killing people. Wow. Yeah. Slipstream. Fuck yes. Okay. So. So mom, okay. mom, you're live on the Fried Rice podcast. Say hi to everybody. Hi everybody. Hi Austin's mom. <laughs> Thanks. You're, you're you guys, live. You're speaking to. Been- Potentially, and I'm putting an asterisk next to that, millions of people. Uh, <laughs> depending on how popular this gets in the next you know, 20 years. Who knows? And we're hitting your uh, choice right now. Oh, my God. So, listen. We have this bell ringer thing. And we put it, We put these in here. The space dust infused bloopies. Is it oh, yeah. bloopies? bloopies? Yeah. Holy God. My God, I it, I am it destroyed me. I'm about to light him up again because we're about to end, we're about to end this thing. But fuck, am I just that destroyed me? Pardon my friend. I don't know. You you know what you're signed up for. Um, so what is what's your what's how was your Christmas? Um, uneventful to be honest. Oh. It's a stressful time right now for our whole family. Oh. So it was kind of a. Uh, I already hashed that out on the previous episode. Go back and listen to that, fans, for a sad story. For yeah. a sad story. Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, move, let, we can move on to something more cheery. What did you find on Tubi that you want to recommend to, again, potentially, asterisk, millions of people? <laughs> um, well, I didn't have one to choose, um, so I suggested A Fish Called Wanda. A Fish Called Wanda. Is that, Is that on Tubi? Tubi? Yes, yes, it is. Wow, see, so weird because I... Uh, That's such a good movie compared to I, this dribble. Oh. Yeah, so I... Just the other day, in my own mind, so this has nothing to do with anybody because I didn't share it with anybody or speak it out loud, but in my own mind, I was like... Yeah, you remember that movie when Harry met Sally? Because that's how my fucking yeah. brain works. It's just it, it's just an and just nostalgia trip. Right. And then right. I thought, I was like, isn't there a movie called A Fish Called Wanda? So it's just interesting that you brought that up. Uh <laughs> Who's in that? Is that Robert Downey Jr.? No. Uh, Kurt, uh, oh gosh, what's her, I always forget Jamie her name. Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, a John ton Cleese. of other John people you'll Cleese. recognize that I can't think of. That. I'm really bad. And, like, and Kevin Klein. Yeah, 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 no. This looks great. After pulling off a diamond heist, the motley crew of culprits dupe one another oh, repeatedly in hopes of pocketing the loot, the loot in this black comedy. Yeah, that's definitely up our, up our alley. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Austin's mom. And again, these these Thank fucking you. joints are incredible, especially yeah, since it's it, three. Aren't you like totally on vibrate? I just finished one myself. On vibrate, that's an interesting way to three, talk. Yeah, yeah. Vibrate, yeah. your we, body's just like vibrating. Yeah, and you're a little bit hyper, but you're not. Yeah, I'm, you know. I mean, I the way I'm describing it in my own head is just fucked up. Because uh, again, it's three of them all at once through a bong. Uh, so for me, it's just. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I've shifted into an alternate reality. Alternate reality. Uh, right? Go yeah. with it. Use it. I'm going to. I, I don't know how. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, when these fucking guys leave, I'm gonna play video games. I don't know how to, how to use it any other way than <laughs> than uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake, which I have to replay. To doesn't even matter. You don't. Who cares? What do you, you see? Any good movies lately? Uh, in your own life, you go to the movie. Th- you know, we already talk about movies. You play video games. What's what's your favorite? <laughs> no. No. Um, my son's trying to get me to do that. I haven't really, I, ha- I haven't really done it yet. Wait, wait, what are you trying I, to get him to play? I bought a V. I bought a place. I have a PlayStation VR, oh, so I'm trying to yeah. get him to use that, so it's more fun. You know, there's so many games now have uh, in the difficulty s- setting. They have like adventure mode or no uh, story mode is what it's called. Where they Should cut. They just call it grandma mode. Or well, it's not, but it's not grandma mode. mode. It's more just like if you want to enjoy what the game has to offer without worrying about stupid combat uh, yeah. difficulty spikes and getting frustrated. Ah, okay, that's up my alley. 
Yeah, and there's really good ones. Did you watch The Last of Us, that TV show? Yes, love it. The game is yeah. probably even better because you, you get more time with the characters to, you know. But it's fast, which didn't you tell me once? It's, it's not not if you play it on the lowest difficulty. Yeah. I think that's just chill mode. There's still zombies and shit. You could die, but, I mean, it's, it's fun. I've been trying to get her to either play it or watch me play it. Yeah, watch Austin show. play it. I mean, fuck, that'd be great. You should do a Let's Play on Twitch, the two of you. She sounds great. My mom great. and my grandma? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fun. yeah, you gotta put grandma. Oh, oh, my God. Like a generational. So you would love her. Oh, that'd be kind of fun, actually. Yeah. Here, can, can, we, that can, game, we, that can we three-way game. call your... Can we get your grandma Wait, on this? Is grandma... Do chill? not ask his mom to three-way again, I, Andy. Hey, listen. Jesus. <laughs> Listen, she won't man. be able to hear anything. Oh. Her, you gotta like totally plan it. Okay. But she's really funny. <laughs> okay. Next time. Well, right. anyway, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for jumping on the podcast. It's always Thank great. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, and uh, I'm glad you enjoyed that. And I'll make you something uh, even better next time. Oh, God. <laughs> there's no, there's absolutely no obligation to, to no. this was amazing, but. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, I always. Well, I have cook. the best recipes for munchies, you guys. So I told Austin that I would, you know, make weed munchie episode. Yeah, you're also you know, you're also you invited to come up <laughs> with Austin. Yeah, you can come up with Austin. And Man, be Mike's on the just show. Mike's just adding his own rules That's as right. he. Sees. Oh, you guys would be so hammered. You guys would be so hammered. <laughs> I yeah, it's well we. I would I, be rolling blunts. Yeah. And you guys, oh, I'd have dabs ready, and I'm like, okay, come on, guys, let's go. Yeah, this sounds great. Subject. I think we just, I think we just on air just planned a perfect Saturday with with uh, with Austin and his mom. And, oh, I can bring your grandma. Let's all just. This sounds great. All right. Well, anyway, right. look, people, <laughs> listeners at home, I guess you're just gonna. We'll call it the. We'll call it Saturday picnic with uh, with Austin's family. Uh, it's gonna be a special coming up. It'll be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do it outdoors. We'll yeah. somehow, somehow find. Find a way. Um, <laughs> All right, mom. Yeah. Uh, love you. I'll be home soon. Okay, Austin's okay, mom. We love, love you. Guys. You guys be okay. good. All right. And, and don't drive or anything. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm video games, like I said. All right. Have fun. Enjoy the movie. I'm sure you guys will. Okay. Right. Okay, bye. 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 Well, oh, mother. <laughs> your mom's great. Uh, just best impromptu guest you can. Yeah, you no, can she just for. hung up the phone and, and went Austin. and seen. <laughs> yes, she's like, yeah. she's turning to the mirror that she yeah. was hyping herself up yeah. and was like, <laughs> "You fucking killed it, Austin's yeah. mom." Uh, it's so, kind of funny nowadays with the moms, isn't it? When you used to moms are way cooler than they used to be. Oh yeah, she used to yeah. bust me. Hey, for my mom's weed. always been cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there was I. I was a kid. I was really young, not really a kid, but I was. I smoked weed in the bathroom. I thought that tiny bathroom window was enough to ventilate the weed. <laughs> and then I'm like all stoned in my bed, ready to go to sleep. I had a baseball card box that I kept all my weed shit under my bed. Yeah, yeah. And then I hear my mom. I smell it. And her and my dad come into my room, storm into my room. They flip my mattress. They didn't find the weed that was so obviously in that box right there. <laughs> And then just a few years later, they're like, Austin, can you get us some weed? Oh, that's so <laughs> and funny. now she's like, let me roll joints for your fucking podcast the, every week. The minute it became legal, though, all the moms were just like, fuck it, I guess it's legal now. Yeah. We don't the amount of times that. that I would just be, like my friend and I would just find a spot, uh, just a spot that we thought was like, no one's going to no one's gonna smell, no one's going to be fun. <laughs> and we would just smoke, like a park yeah. or a, you know, like a, a somewhere. Now, when I'm driving around, I don't have a great sense of smell. Uh, or any really, but sometimes it, it, it goes through. Uh, I'll be driving, and I see I saw these kids just in there, you know, like some teenagers yeah. in this car smoking with the window just cracked, and I could smell it fucking <laughs> half a block away. So I'm just thinking in my in my I'm like Jesus Christ. We used to be those kids. I'm yeah. such an idiot. Anytime yeah. that you've ever smoked like in your car driving around, which <laughs> I have not, but like I've heard of people doing yeah. that. Uh, I'm sure that that's how you get caught, guys. Yeah. That's why you get your <laughs> DUIs like... and shit, but. Anyway, those are uh, so, so. We have Slipstream. We have uh, a Ghost of Mars, which I don't Ghost know if of it's Mars, on there or not. Fish Called, which which it's not. So you're because disqualified. I'm, not, good, I'm disqualified. Fish Called Wanda, Slipstream, Slipstream, or what's yours? God, I had what I thought was a pretty good one, but now I, I I'm gonna vote for Slipstream. So I'm I don't using even think both it matters. my votes for goddamn Slipstream. 
God Why do you get two votes again? I thought we get we, you get to vote for yours and someone else's. Was uh, that the rule? Or did oh, well, it just no, depends. It's updated. I missed it. It's, it's whatever. It's there whatever no I feel rules. the most comfortable with it landing on. That day, Some, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's I'm usually I, Andy trying to cheat. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> people yeah. get in their head that we're going to watch some bullshit, and I'm like, no, uh, <laughs> we get two votes this yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> so, but if it's. <laughs> if it's but if it's this, it's, it's, it's not really a, a democracy system. It's Zach, actually, you lost your throne of God. It yeah. goes to Andy now. <laughs> no, I'm sure Zach's a nice guy. Yeah, Zach's. A, He's just not God anymore. Zachy improv. <laughs> Zachy improv quality. Uh, so, as much as uh, thank you, Austin Mons, for the recommendation, but Slipstream has some sort of it's it's. It needs to be watched by us because it, it should. It could have been. Come back, yeah. I what was, was so the movie hard, that beat it? I was so hard. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. It was. It, it was kind of like mid season. How did what got past it? Yeah, I don't even understand. I don't even it know. Seems like something we would normally. And it's going to be hard to really pinpoint it. But no, I, but what's the? Uh, I've never even there. seen Just this movie. Up there so which, I can see if I can remember it. It makes me so. I, the fact well, that I'm so uh, hardlined on it, I don't even know. I would like no. I would like to think of it as an alternate Star Wars universe where it takes place after Return of the Jedi. Uh, you know, the Emperor's dead, Darth Vader's dead, the Emperor's saved, but then wait, Thrawn this, comes back. This kills is not Luke's... the one where he's running around on top of buildings and shit, is it? It. I'm not oh, no in idea. a post-apocalyptic future, a bounty hunter kidnaps a murderer from the police to obtain the bounty, but two officers go on the hunt to bring them in, starring okay. Bob Peck, Mark Hamill. Kitty Aldrich, Bill Paxton, okay. Susan Leong, Elkis Criticus, click a, click and some on Mark others. Hamill's name real quick. I just want to see his. We know first, who he is. Go he's back Luke to Skywalker. his first movies, though. I know. I want to know before that. Well, he's been in so much shit. What do you want to know? He's done so much voice okay, work. Okay, this is not in order. So we. Oh, you're not on IMDb. That's why. I am. This is his Mark Hamill's. Yeah, but it's not IMDb. It's well, just we Tubi. deal with Tubi. It's just what's on Tubi. We just deal with Tubi around here. I know. I was trying to see what. Look, he was Commander Toad, Toad in space. space. What is? Oh, it's adding my oh list my right the fuck now. <laughs> it's 1993, minutes. 24 minutes. It's a 20 family minutes and friend. Show. Oh my god, this looks great. Brave Commander Toad and his Star Wars <laughs> crew go where no one's gone before to a watery planet with a monster who thinks they look like lunch. What in the oh, world this is looks this? Wonderful. Golden Book video that brings back so many <laughs> memories. Wait a minute, Golden Book like as in what? Golden Book video, that production company, they were great. Were they to make the Golden Books, the little Golden Books, oh. like for kids? <laughs> How much you want to bet that the people that did the animatronics that... for this, or the the costumes and everything, also did that dinosaur family show? Ooh, well, oh, let's dinosaurs? find out. That's, that's immediately what came into my head is what let's the characters look like. Dinosaurs is great, out. though. That we show's have Commander great. Toad. Yeah. Oh, Not based, the mama. so based on the book, Commander <laughs> Toad in Space. Also, is... one of the darkest endings to a family show. Oh God, yeah. Yes. Extinction. 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 Spoilers. Literally, we're all gonna die, kids. <laughs> And then the show's just over. Oh, it's Mark Hamill's just voice. Yeah, he's the admiral. Okay, well, again, we do this so much on the show. I'm so <laughs> fucking lost sorry. In our IMDb. What? Look yeah. at an IMD? IMDb? There should be some changes. music where we're just yeah. fucking looking at IMDb because we're fucking idiots. All right, so we're going to watch Slipstream, ladies and gentlemen. Now time to yes. light this fucking shit up, play some copyright-free music, and end <laughs> this shit. Uh, cyberpunk, dark synth, plasma, royalty-free. Okay. Who cares? There we go, baby. You're gonna light that up again, huh? Yeah. What are you lighting up? One, two, three. Out of a fucking bell ringer, our <laughs> new sponsor. <laughs> get Brought to you by bell ringer. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't do his voice, I don't think. But wait, they'll get to hear it next week. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to come on, so. Yeah, well, plus you're gonna have an ad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll get the ad. Bell ringers. And Austin's mom just kicked my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, one more, one more rip. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Did I not tell you this was going to be a chill, fucking dope-ass episode? This has been Fried Rice Podcast. With me, as always... Has been motherfucking Austin 
is the most thoughtful gift giver I've ever met in my fucking life. Holy shit. Star Trek minifigures. The fucking Bell Ringer sponsorship. We got the fucking Austin's mom shout out. Who's fucking great and brought the triple joints with space dust and I'm off my fucking ass. Feral! Free Palestine. Okay. <laughs> with me as always. I tried to kill him today with just fucking triple joint power, <laughs> and he somehow survived. I did again. It's Michael. He hated the movie that he recommended. <laughs> hated a movie that has a 96% on Rotten Tomato. He's lucky we haven't killed him. He's lucky to be alive. It's Slapstick Larson. Have a good week, everybody. And, and I, don't watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I am your host, and I'm a holding you. <laughs> Too much. I can't believe you hit that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Andy Rice. I've been so fucking fried. Thank you, Austin's mom. My bell ringer. And bell ringers. Bell ringers. Bye, bell ringers. dot com. Bye, bell ringers. My bell ringers. My bell ringers. dot com. Sponsored us. Let's get fried to Mandy Rice. Fried Rice Podcast, you get it. <laughs> Fucking love y'all. Good night. Hey, man, have you ever heard of Fried Rice Podcast? Fried Rice Podcast? Yeah, man, they're a podcast that reviews movies, and a new one comes out every Saturday on YouTube. They're sponsored by Bell Ringers. Bell Ringers? Yeah, Bell Ringers. It's an adapter for your bong or hookah, and it holds three joints, three blunts, three bowls, or three dabs. Three dabs? Yeah, man, three dabs. So check us out every Saturday on YouTube at Fried Rice Podcast, sponsored by Bell Ringers.